right, welcome, welcome everybody to the Thursday edition of the Affordable Auction here on the Strictly Comics Group channel. Um, if you are new to the show, make sure you are subscribed so that you can bin and bid and comment as you fit. Um, got a great lineup tonight, got a returning all-star, and we also have a first appearance seller for you tonight. Uh, please go ahead and drop us a like and a comment in the chat. We'll go ahead and introduce our panel right now. Turn this off here. All right, all right. What's up, everybody? Um, good to see y'all. Let's go ahead and drag him up here. We'll go ahead. Uh, Dapper Dan, you want me to start with you since you're since you're not staying long? Are you ready to go? Are we gonna go? With uh, the... No, no, no. If you can put me a little later, um, I'll probably, I'll probably do the whole night. Okay, fantastic, right. fantastic. Um, he's in, he's in all right, he's no stranger to danger. That's right. The amazing Spider Quinn is back with us tonight. What's up, good buddy? Hey, good evening. Happy Thursday, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Another affordable auction here on Strictly Comics. Appreciate y'all joining us. Make sure you leave a like and get that algorithm going. See the comments are already flowing in. So thanks for joining us and uh, we'll get started here soon. I see some Great 90s summer. spoily goodness. I see some 90s spoily goodness. Hologram goodness. Hologram. All right, making his debut first appearance is replay. What's happening? And he's got the best looking assistant we have ever seen. The Spider-Man does. How you doing, guys? Uh, now we're on. So yeah, thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, excited to finally uh, to be here. I've been watching the show for four years. Long this is my daughter. This is actually Free Plays, the girl that changed my username on YouTube. So if there's any confusion as to if I was a guy or girl, I'm a guy. There's the um, guilty part. Yeah. So yeah, I got a lot of good books. A um, ton of books. Mostly modern, bronze. Tons of X-Men, guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks for having me on. Hit the like button. Yeah, definitely looking forward to see what you got tonight. Um, all right, let's head on over to... Come on, Miles, don't fail me now. That's right, Dapper Dan is back with us tonight. Get out of your cans of hair jelly. The myth, the man, the legend himself is here. What's up, everyone? Appreciate y'all stopping by. Uh, cool to have replays on here. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a great night. Make sure to smash that like button. But other than that, appreciate it. Let's head over to the best forearms in the business. That's right, Christian B is here. Hello, everyone. Uh, you know, I've been wondering where I've seen Dapper Dan before, and I think it, it was in Bedassa Soon commercials well, from the me. from the nineties. That's where <laughs> I know Dapper Dan from. So. If you want uh you know anything about hair gel or just hair in general, I think that's that's from man right there. So we don't want no pop. That's, that's right. right. No I got books. Bye. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's right, gang. Uh I'll do a couple quick housekeeping uh items here. We do three auctions a week. We'll turn that banner off so you can actually read it. We do three auctions a week, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. Uh, we also have a couple big shows we do uh, every month. The new vintage auction we just started, been pretty successful. This will be our third vintage auction here on April 6th, so in about two weeks uh, or, or a little bit more than that. You can come check us out on the vintage comic auction. And then we our big monthly whale auction, which is all higher-end books, big lots, uh, key books, grails, and white whales. Hard to find white whales. And uh, brace yourself. Brace yourself. Saturday, March 30th, will be Paul's pre-planned pop-up auction. Um, she'll be here in, uh, I guess that that was actually uh, in a little over a week. A little over a week. So check them out. And then uh, Madhouse is ramping back up again. So go check them out. They uh, sell opposite of us on Monday Wednesdays and Friday, Helvetica runs a great show over there. Go check them out. Um, and I'm also giving away, I'm giving away a key X-Men first ever appearance graded comic once we get to 100 followers on the Facebook. Um, 
you got to be following us on Facebook to be eligible for that giveaway. Uh, so please sneak over there and give us a follow. It's Strictly Comics Group with the next all one word. And you could also give us a follow on Instagram. That would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. A lot of great, a lot of great uh, comic book news. One of the biggest ones this week has been uh, CGC is now going to do verified signatures. Might might spell the the end for CVCS. So that's that's some pretty big news. They've got a lot of signings over at CGC as well. If you're in submitting signature books, um, interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. And um, there is no bigger news than this. I was waiting for uh, Pedro, good old uh, Pepto Pink Room Paul, will be here. He's driving Miss Daisy on Thursdays, but he will be here. And if you haven't been watching the news, they have announced the making of a Popeye movie. It's coming. It might be the biggest news in 10 years. There will be a Popeye film. So, um, how long is Paul going to be gone? For well, filming? I, I don't know. He, he definitely, uh, he definitely was cast for the role last I heard. <laughs> um, and uh, also, please smash that like button. We will deploy Linda Carter to go look for some likes. Uh, good old Linda. Yes, we are shameless in our use of Linda Carter. Indeed, indeed. Um, so please smash that like button. I think 100 likes will do a giveaway. Yep, yep, we will. And if you're uh, a new school person, I'll give you a little bit of this. I know Cam likes that one. But that is right, guys. There will be a Popeye movie coming out. I know you can't, you cannot wait. Um, all right, let's go ahead and call out the chat. See who's here. See, see what's going on in the community. G Key Key Comics is first in the door. Thank you, good sir. I appreciate you being here. El Green Machine, who recently made his debut appearance on the Strictly Auction, is also here. Good to see you, El Green. Miss Liz is here. Yes, thumbs up, please. Chantilly Cat is here. Number five, he says. Okay. 95 alive. No disassemble. David Reese, the first of the David Army through the door. Good to see you, David Reese. Jack B is here from Michigan. Give Jack B a follow over on the Instagram. Does some great work with uh, some comic book mystery boxes he sells to support uh, children's parodies. Give him a follow. Oh, look at this. My my. My main man, Carlos DLR, the OG of the OG supporters of the show. Appreciate you being here, Carlos DLR. Mr. Noah's here. How long must we wait? Hey, we can only blame Paul. I, I had nothing to do with us being late. Just want to make sure that's there. All right, Troll Fire is here. A little longer now. That's right. That's right. Have a good show, cats and kittens. Indeed, indeed. Miss Liz is here. Hashtag Team Paul. Oh, Miss Liz. Let me down. Let me down. James Pometer is here. Yep, you have made it in time. Enchanted is here. What's up with you, Enchanted? You had a good day as well. Uh, Luigi Quicksand is here. What's up, Quicksand? Uh, claim Noah's trailer. I wish I had a trailer. Uh, he's got a. He's got one of them there RVs. Got it. Like, like RVs. Hey, Dan Comics is here. What's up from the great uh, northern beyond? He actually lives in Canada and and not pretends to live in Canada like somebody we know. I have this one on my TV. Kenneth Bird is here. Hi to everyone here tonight. Hello to you, Kenneth Bird. I appreciate you being here. Uh, Miss Liz says we're already at 22 likes. Thank you, Miss Liz. You have the official like count. I don't care what Paul says. Uh, you're going to make bank on all the green labels being turned in. That is a great point. Yes. CGC for many moons would give you a green label if you had a signature on the cover and sent it in. That is an interesting point. I had not thought about that. Daniel Reed is here. What's up, Daniel Reed? Oh, look at this. Mr. Nash is here. One of my all-time favorite people. Mr. Nash, what's going on, good buddy? It's been a little bit. It's been a while. Marshall Warpath is here. Sup? Sup? Strictly Comics Gang. What's up with you, good sir? Tetranova is here. Look at this. Here's another old school guy. Hawaiian Punch is here. Magneto is the Hoth. Uh, how is everybody? Yeah, I saw uh, Magneto is a uh, cover where he's wearing the alternate uniform with the M on the cover. Made the top of the trending list this week. Uh, Trollfire says, hashtag winning one more day without that paint. 
<laughs> all right. Well, I think we uh, did all our housekeeping items. Let's go ahead and start slanging some books. Let's head on over to this, the amazing fighter. Let's see what he's got going on this no, no. <laughs> week. All right. So. First off, I got a new waffle. This is one sold out last week. X Men 266 this is a CGC 8.0. Uh, Ten dollars a spot, twenty spots. If you buy three spots, you will get one free. How about that? So let me know if you want any spots on this CGC 8.0. And I don't think it can be upgraded. It's got a, a little it's tiny creases there in the bottom corner. And uh, yeah, it's a couple little indentions. Um, not color breaking, but yourself? what's that? Did you send that one in? Yeah, I did. So, uh, all right, all Stony. Right. Stony says three spots, please. Got gotcha, you, so, Stony. Thank you, Stony. Am I on that one yet? No, I just started it tonight. So, well, give me, well let's see if there's there. any left. Uh, Jack, Jack he wants three spots. Yes, Liz says we're on 31 already. All right, so that's I eight spots you, gone already. Don't 12 left. So, all right, let me know if you want any spots. Oh, for our first round giveaway, uh, I'm going to give a choice here. Got an ASM 45. Uh, this is a, a Del Auto cover. It's got, problem is, it's got these, I guess, like scratches across there. There's three of them going horizontally. You read uh, your books aggressively, huh? Yes. <laughs> or I've got this uh, Alien Perillo. Very uncovered. Really All right, you're going to give me uh, three three spots on that warfle? Okay. Maybe. MT times three. Uh, if no one takes it, I'll, I'll, I'll bend the uh, Death of Wolverine. Okay, I got you. Got you down. I'll take two uh, spots, too, Spider Flint. Okay. okay. Thank you. Come on, get, get work. Oh, I didn't even start your clock yet, so you're doing fine. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we got a few things here behind me. Got uh, the whole set of the ASM hollow foil goodness there, 40 bucks. Those are all high grade. Uh, I've got Predator versus Wolverine number one, both the uh, 340, Hulk 340 homages. So he's got Wolverine with Predator reflected in his blades, and then you got Predator with Wolverine reflected in his blades. So uh, I've got this... Uh, Showed this before. This is a like an unused send-off cover you get for the Age of Apocalypse Alpha cover, and uh, so basically I got the whole set there. It's, you get the unused cover plus 42 books from that whole Age of Apocalypse for 80 bucks. So if you have any questions on that, All right, Mr. Robin Roberts will also take three spots, and so will Imperious Rex, Mr. Roman Kirks. Oh, Mr. Three okay. spots from the purple man. Okay, I think that closes it out. Um, if I will give up my three spots if somebody wants it, uh, I will give it to the chat. But otherwise, I will more than happy to get them. Hello, AMT. Did you say yes. something? Yeah, I said. Yeah, go ahead. That's just, hey, if, somebody, if somebody wants my three spots, I will give them up, but otherwise, it's closed. Right? Okay. And uh, if everybody else uh, send payment, I got PayPal or I have uh, Cash App. I'll well, interact in my Cash App. Oh, but. No, but that's a send away to get an unused cover. So there's no crease in it, and it comes with 42 books. It is a pretty cool cover. Um, or the uh, X Men, where Wolverine's got the one arm. Yeah, he's got the chopped off hand. <laughs> that was a. Uh... You want to show so people know how much the three spot deal was again here? It was uh, it's ten dollars a spot. So three spots, thirty bucks will get you four spots. So thirty bucks gets you four spots. You want to show that cover again, right quick? Yeah. So, yeah, it's an unused cover. You see in the middle, no staple holes. You had to send off for this, uh, Nola. In the... So it's just, yeah, unused, shiny what, cover. What did you send in? I don't know. It was so long ago, man. It was like almost 30 years. A bunch of Jim Lees. Uh, let's see here. Got a few other buy it now. It's got a Deadpool, Batter Blood, MT's favorite, Scotty Young. 
Scotty Young must be stopped. My bucks on that. Get this new what if number two, Venom number two here. What if uh, Venom had possessed Wolverine? Seven bucks. Just yeah, came out that was two. also in uh, New Avengers. Already happened. Got a ASM 244. The uh, near mint minus newsstand. Ten bucks. Early appearance of Hobgoblin. Nice Bermuda Junior art. Great book. <clears throat> uh, I got a, some virgin covers here. Got a near mint minus. This is a, a ASM 20 unknown uh, comics variant. David Nakayama. Shiny Colors. David Nakayami. It's got it's got two little uh, color breaking spine tacks. That's why they near mint minus. But then uh, got a Hellions 10. Another unknown comics variant. Version cover, Saya David Nakayama again. This one has one color breaking tick on it. Yeah, those were 30 bucks or something when they first came out. Yeah. Lastly, this is Electra Black, White, and Blood, number one. The Sabine Rich uh, cover. This one's near mint plus, no spot ticks. So if you're interested in any of those, I'd be happy to discuss any of that. Uh, what else I got here? Uh, behind me, I, I've got these uh, mile, uh, milestone reprints here. X-Men number one, Hulk 181, uh, Captain America, not Captain America, Avengers number four, and then Amazing Fantasy fitting. And how much time we got? 24 seconds. All right. Uh, last one. Hurry up. Ultimate X-Men number one. This is the Peach Momoko A cover she wrote and drew. And this is the uh, Mark Brooks variant cover. Eight bucks for either of those. All right, I see that highlighted Tim wants the ASM 244. Give me your uh, starting bid while you get him squared away here. Uh, two bucks, two buck Chuck. Is it gotcha, a, Tim. Is it a, is it a, a builder basement? auction. Quick Sand is asking about Avengers Twilight. Isn't that about a vampire and a <laughs> dopey girl with a werewolf? Uh, I don't know. I think it's some kind of alternate Avengers story. I haven't read it. Um, I know it has uh, Alex Ross covers, but I, I don't have any of those, unfortunately. Actually, somebody sent me some of those. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think it's like a limited series, like five issues. And uh, right. so they're almost done with that, I believe. All right, uh, $2 start here. Start with uh, Superman 88, Bizarro. Got the reversed trade dress there. Namrapoos, however you say, Superman yeah. backwards. Just like mix of little mix. Right. So two bucks gets that in. And uh, Farron says it's pretty good too. I'll have to read it then. I do have, I think I got the first two issues. Every two dollars more, I will add another Superman book in here. Got Superman ah, Steel. That's a great cover. <laughs> I pulled that book out tonight, actually. Not not that one, but the one in today's me. Then I've got a uh, first Supergirl on Action Comics. Uh, Action Comics. Ooh, six, very nice, six, very four. nice. I uh, got Funeral for a Friend Part Two, Action Comics six eighty five. And these are all new stands. This one's uh, VF minus. It does have some uh, spine ticks there show up on the black. So all of these are in, or every two dollars gets a new book in. Every two dollars adds another book. So this one has a kind of a spine roll right at the top. Something rolled it over. Um, oh yeah, it's it it the... writing and it's good. Here I'll unmute you. I had to unmute you. We we're getting a lot of. Uh, so, background noise on your mic um yeah here's spider flint you know that's the one that one's based off of yep a little sure reverse so show the show that one again so sony two bucks you got this one in and these are all new stands for another two dollars i'll bring in this man of steel 10 dead ringer the pietre pieta all right can you uh make sure that sony understands what the next book in is she's already 
two dollars. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this one's in for two. The Bizarro at four. Get that one in. Six. Bring in Action six. Comics six seventy four. First Supergirl cover. on there. Gorgeous. Cover. Cover. BF minus as well. And then we got Action six eighty five. Action Comics one homage Supergirl. So that'd be eight dollars. Like I said, each book is just another two dollars. So Superman, Man of Steel, fighting. What's that guy's name? <laughs> I'm not a Superman. Doomsday. Doomsday. There it is, right there on the book. How about that? It's on the cover. Yep. Nice. Nineteen, and then last one, Action Six Sixty Two. So we got. That's like an innuendo cover there. <laughs> Well, that, that one's worth a few bucks there. Uh, big reveal, you know, Lois Lane finally finds out a secret identity. Just take the glasses off. That's all you do. So $12 to get all of them in. So at $4, still need to get the first two in. All right, guys. Uh, Stoney's in at four. Anybody want to go six and get the next book in? Six will bring in the first Supergirl on that cover on Action Comics. Yeah, get the first Supergirl on Action Comics. Get it, get it in, get it in, guys. Six and eight. Yep. A great deal. A Ten, deal. a Doomsday. These are all newsstands. And then Action 662. 12 bucks. We'll bring all of them in. Oh, well, Green, you're so needy. Okay. Do you want one? So, yeah, Avengers, Captain America. It's like a, I guess, a six-inch figure. But yeah, the case is uh, you got a little bend there on the end, that corner. All right, guys, got about ten seconds left. If I don't get a five or a six-dollar bid, this is going to go right to Stony. In cap. All right. Thank you, El Green. Right, guys, that was a timer. Fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. dollars We're at two books here, buddy. All right, here we go. Congratulations, Stoney. Hit up the All amazing right, Spider Flint on the Instagrams. First two in. Appreciate your bidding. Get you squared yeah. away. Yeah, All right. Hit me up on uh, Instagram there, Amazing Spider Flint, and we'll get all squared away. Appreciate it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's head over to Replays. Or what are we supposed to be calling you? Replays, Brian Hall? We'll, 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 we'll stay with Replays. That, that's fine. All right, so uh, I'm going to start this off at a dollar. Um, are you just going to go, you no know, buy it now? It's going right into the auction? No buy it now tonight. Nah, not for my first night. I just want to kind of get my legs under me if that's all right with everybody. That's all good. What's your starting bid? We're gonna start this guy. We're gonna start this at a dollar. Um, if it gets to ten dollars, I have two more books I could can bring in. So you have X Men Adventures number one, uh, number two. Don't they have a cartoon out or something? Yeah, right. <laughs> <It's all laughs> this week. Number three. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. But... And this is all volume one, I, I believe. These are yeah, those are all volume one. one. Four. They actually say five. Adventures 2 Adventure. and 3 on the title for the other volumes. And number 11. Um, they're all they're all very fine. Uh, but most importantly, issue number one does have a dog ear on the back. Small dog ear, but it does break color. Otherwise, it would be a much higher grade. What? So starting at, go ahead. What is the total book count? So the total book count here is six books, starting at a dollar. If we get to ten dollars, like two more books. Oh, there you go. There you go. Two hundred <laughs> direct, very fine. This one again does have a small dog rear in the back corner, so it's going to bring it down. And then we can throw this guy in. Just you got some uh, spine uh, spine ticks on this guy. Um, it's never been cleaned or pressed. None of these books have, as a matter of fact, but uh, I don't really think a, a, a press is going to help this one too much. As uh, I can show you the spine if we get to it. So I asked 10 people for that book today. 
I have I got a, a nine eight right here, buddy. Well, I need. I'm looking for copies of that. If you've got them, I'll buy them. I, um, I have got. I have copies. Awesome. All right. Uh, let me get his correct banner up here, guys. This also made the trending list this week. I think it was fourth or fifth on the trending list. There's a new X-Men 97 TV show out. This is for the originals. The original series back in the 90s that was a staple after you got home from school. You got to watch a couple episodes of X-Men Adventures. Um, watch you some Rogue. I mean, how good was that cartoon, the original? I haven't seen the new one yet. If you've seen the new one, let us know what you thought about it. Um, but this is a hot book, has been for some time. I think what, the new one started yesterday, the cartoon? All right, Nola broke the ice at a dollar. DC is in at 10. Um, so go ahead, and uh, there's six books in this lot, guys. Six books in that lot. Uh, that first, the issue number one is about a $20 book. Uh, now we have uh, we have two more books because they hit 10. So these two come in at 10. Oh, my God. All right, here, so... Uh, I'm going to show the spine on this book real quick. I'm going to just crack it open. Just I don't want anyone to be disappointed. That's not a cheap book. No, it's not. So you can see some color breaks there. Still good, good quality VF book at least. Yeah, very. Yeah, it's definitely it's it's conservative, but it's. That's all that's wrong. It, it just has ticks. Otherwise, Trollfire yeah, said, yeah. watch the first two episodes, says it wasn't that bad. Yeah, whoever picked that uh, uh, scene where Gambit's firing up Wolverine's claws is a friggin' genius. Uh, the best part of that trailer. We are at $12, Luigi. Perrin says it's super good. Noel's back at 13 I can't find my cell phone. I'm trying to bid on this. So again, all very fine. I give it a nine. Yeah, I yeah. VF plus is 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 conservative. That's easily uh, without without having it in my hand. I would say it's a a near mint minus for sure. 132 percent increase in sales of issue number one this week. First appearance of Morph, uh, that's also part of the lawsuit over the theme song, if you recall. Guys, this is go. I mean, you're getting a 268 in here. That book right there is a $20 book. What grade did you say the Magneto is? It's it's VF. I'm calling everything VF. And again, just so everyone's aware, number one, Adventures number one, does have a color breaking dog here. Small, it's small, but. It's there. All right, we're in overtime. That Magneto cover is the number one trending book of the week. It a thousand and eighty-six percent increase in sales. That's a huge jump. That is a massive jump for any comic. Yeah. This book, man. This is, in my opinion, I don't know. I think this might be the best Jim Lee oh. cover. Hard to argue that. I mean, that's a forty-five dollar book on on the on the price guide. Yeah, it does have some spine ticks, but I mean, it is it is clean, man. It is a clean book. Yeah, I love that book. Deduction for for Rogue. Oh, he was given the comic nine or the TV show a nine. I have a lot. I'm probably gonna wait till the whole season. How does Rogue look in the uh, in the cartoon? I know, like the drawness preteen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's like they can't have any any women characters with yeah. defined feminine features anymore for some reason. I'm not sure why. Right. Right. <clears throat> like there's something wrong with being feminine. But I, who knows? Like, there's also people just like to troll stuff, so they could just troll on the TV show. Plenty of that that goes on these days. Yeah, and guys, listen, I can do X Men all night long if you want to, or like I definitely have more X Men lots coming up. Uh, I have new X Men, uh, the Morrison Quitley run. Uh, 
a nice chunk of that. Some DC says money. she looks fine. Yeah, I mean, imagine it's just because so many, so much people made a big deal out of that one cut scene. You know what I mean? It's just, just something to troll on. It always bugged me when Thunderbird ran with the Brotherhood of the Original Mutants in the original. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I had to pay 20 bucks for that book right there. That one alone. Although I am trying to get high grade copies of that. Yeah, I've got the Lego. There's a Lego variant of that 268. What's up, Surgeon Men? All right, guys, if I don't get a $21 bid, you guys are going to let me steal this lot. You're going to let me steal this. This is <laughs> X-Men Adventures, Volume 1, Issue Number 1 through 6. And then you're going to get the um, uh, the Magneto. Yeah, the, Ma uh, the uh, Uncanny X-Men 100. Let me just... Yeah, you get these two as well. I mean, for I mean, twenty bucks for those two books is. Oh, guys, I can't let this go. I hate to do it too. But it's it's like basically, people who sell on this channel are all bidding on this, so I don't feel too bad. <laughs> If if it's if it's a bunch of resellers bidding on this lot, you know it's going cheap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so really, these are the, these are the three everybody wants. So <laughs> that's true, troll fire. <laughs> All right, guys. Fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. And line coming down. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Appreciate right, it. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. I don't think I've ever beat you on a lot, Trollfire. I have to remember that. All right. Let's head on over. Uh, get your wins in the private chat there, Mr. Spider Flint. I'm on it. I'm on it. All right. Thanks for that. And uh, mm -hmm. let's head on over to Mr. Hollywood himself, Dabber Dan. What's up, Mr. Collector? What do you got going on for us tonight? Shake your head there, Mr. Uh, Collector. Shake your head. I want to see your hair wave. It doesn't move anymore. Right there, don't move. Um, I'm gonna do that last. So it's gonna be a three um of builder. No, you know what? Just start off at fifty dollars. That was a great lot. <laughs> I think yeah, it went up. I always do this. So. Oh, no. Um, First what one is uh, X Men Four Sixty, Sandlock and X Twenty Three. What's your oh. start bid? Twenty five. <laughs> Keep changing it. Twenty five. So, okay, X Men Four Sixty, cool cover. Uh, so this is this isn't the actual, obviously, but this is the first three issues of NYX, which is the first appearance of X Twenty Three, and I guess the bigger book of the lot would be the um limited to 1000 if you see the um this one is the what is it x-men red one this is the virgin only a thousand of these made wow uh, so if you can't afford the original gelato this would be the next best thing because that goes for a pretty pretty penny so this is uh, a next 23 lot so if anyone is interested all right, the barbarian is here. Oh, Paul's already wreaking havoc. Been here two seconds. All right, guys, what was the book count again? Uh, three. Three books, guys. Uh, X twenty three, a Laura lot. Barbarian's in at twenty five, and you got the limited to one thousand. Yeah. Look this up. This sells for about sixty bucks by itself. Yeah, so. I remember that cover. I can remember seeing that one on the on the comic book wall. Uh oh, somebody's watching in the background. Yeah, sorry. Um, and I'm thinking like, who's gonna buy this? I was like, it's almost like a little creepy to have a little kid on there, but um, 
it was god that, i wish i would have bought like 10 copies of that because boy is that an expensive one yeah there it is. Miss Liz says we're at 44 likes. Please smash that like button, guys. Anybody want to challenge Barbarian Kung Fu at 26? They might be out there doing their research right now on that limited edition Delato. Gorgeous looking cover. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is that? Uh, man. What? What are y'all talking about? Uh oh. The panel buying and selling books one mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The love connection right here. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's here. Yep. Yep. Katie bar the door. All right, the barbarian comes back at thirty one. Do I hear thirty-two dollars? What do you say there? Uh, what do you say yeah, there, Spider Flint? Did the no, dollar break the bank? I think we're on Spider Flint's budget. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Oh boy! Uh, I mean, that was not Paul. Oh man, what the hell, Blue Fun doing here? All right, thirty-two. Two horse race. <laughs> Dino Flint comes back. Uh -oh. All right, guys, that Delato is like a $60 book is the rumor uh -oh. here. So we've almost paid for half of one of those books. Anybody else want to get in on this? Oh, L. Green. L. Green, we were buddies for the longest time, man. You just, you just, had, to you just had to do it. Yep, thank you, L. Green. You're not going to make the Christmas list this year. All right, Barbarian's back at 33. I think Collector needs some funds for upcoming show season here, con season. Yeah. That's the rumor. Oh, I just got a book literally right now on eBay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'll, I'll help. Oh, the one that you bid it empty on? <laughs> <laughs> the infamous book. He says, empty, look what I got, empty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, yeah. that'll take us into overtime. That'll take us into overtime, 60-second shot clock territory. We do a 60-second runoff here to figure out who the winner is. Barbarians uh, got to go more than 34. Oh, Paul comes on, we lose eight viewers. What happened? Mm -mm. All right. Yeah. He does come back at 36. What do you say, Spider Flint? Are you searching for loose change in the couch cushions? I loan you the money, Spider Flint. Yeah. We tell Proton we'll have to do without that can of sardines this week. Hey, somebody's got to suffer. <laughs> somebody's got to suffer. I can't find my. There we go. Can't find your wallet right there? Yeah. Can't All right, loose I don't a thirty-seven dollar bid here in five seconds. Okay, okay, we're gonna go to thirty-second shots. I was about to say, send the cats to the couch, get some change out of there. Ooh, there you go, collector. Let him know, collector. Just kidding, Sparkling. I love you. Come on, Barb. Two dollars. I know you got it. You just need to sell one book. Barb, I love you too. Damn. So all those. Uh, just confessing your love to everybody, huh? Hey, whoever wins, I love them more. Well, all those Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards you have in the 90s. Whoever wins, I love you more. All right, guys. Uh, fair warning. Uh, uh, fair warning. Uh, oh, uh, uh, bro. Uh, I'll appreciate you, buddy, no, man. He let you down. Be fun. All you have to do is sell one more book, man. 
All right, congratulations there, Dino Flint. Appreciate you, appreciate you. All right, Paul. Say hello to everybody. What? Oh, yeah, I ain't ready yet, man. Were you going to say hello? Oh, yeah. uh, (laughs) Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I see we have uh, Buffon here. It's going to be a long night. We got Mr. Collector here. I don't know what's going on. The main spider Flint's here, but we do have replays, my buddy. Tough, help me out tonight. You know, and then you know, don't ask me anything, guys, because MT's hosting. So well, we usually don't ask Believe me, we weren't. <laughs> be quiet. But <laughs> Ted over yeah. the kitchen B, what you got going on this round, buddy? Glad replays right. were at least. You got a <laughs> I got a waffle. Uh Alpha Flight, 9.4 white pages. Alpha Flight number one, $10 a spot. And I have, let's see, about six spots left. No, se- seven spots left. So maybe we can close it out. Maybe. Um, and then I have a pull box. Uh, you get four pulls for 10 bucks, and you get a chance to win uh, a Moon Knight number one. So you get a waffle spot on, on this as well. All right. Um, Let's do some bite now. Here is sub the Savage Submariner number 69. 20 bucks, and it's a Mark Jeweler. Ooh, it's a Mark Jeweler? Wow, nice. Mark Jeweler. Roman Curtis better not be out getting chili cheese. He'll be upset he missed that one. Uh oh. Where are you, Roman Curtis? 20 bucks. All right, we also have spawn number two, $10. I saw Comic Tom doing a big spawn show here this week. Yeah, him oh, and Tom Fowler are buddy buddies. <laughs> uh, this is Daredevil uh, 597. Um, this is the Shattered Variant, 20 bucks. Fantastic Four, one twenty-four, twenty dollars. Captured Sue, Sue Storm was captured. No. Oh no. 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 Uh, X Men number five, fifteen bucks. Oh, mega red cover. Fifteen. Got a bin oh, on your. Yeah, Roman Curtis on that one. Wow. All right. Thank you there, Mr. Price. All right. We have a WWE Superstar Secret Raw, which is an homage to Secret War. Damn. 60 bucks. It's about the vitamins. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> sure you eat your vitamins. <laughs> That dude ate a lot of vitamins. Yes, he did. What if, what if Doctor Strange had not become master of the mystic arts? What if number 40, 10 bucks? Then what would he have done? Uh, he would have worked oh. at White Castle. White Castle. White Castle. All right. He would have worked at White Castle. You got to read it to find out. Yeah, that's true. Read it to Dead Devil 182. Iconic Miller. color. Dead, Dead Electra. 25 bucks. Mr. Miller. Yeah, you can't do that anymore. Don't do it, there, uh, Daredevil. What? Don't do it, Daredevil. She took half of the, took half of everything, man. <laughs> uh Tarzan number one, Ed- Edgar Rice Burroughs, the Marvel edition. Yeah. Not right. to be confused with the DC run. It's 20 bucks. And it's a newsy. All right, and then I have this lot of three books here for 30 bucks. You get Ghost Rider 31, Rise of the Midnight Suns. This is not in the poly bag, though. But these two are Darkhold 1 and Morbius 1. So you get all three for 30. It's morphin' time. Yeah. That's right. And then I have this lot here for 20 bucks you get. This is Amazing Fantasy 1000. You get the trade of the Virgin variant for 20. Oh, 
<laughs> All right. Uh, I'll do a auction. Oh, virgin one. Yep. Yeah. Start me at seventy-five, please. I'll be right back, guys. Can't afford it. That's why he left. It was too much of his price range. <laughs> Seventy-five dollars. It's like, oh my god! All mm-hmm. right. So this is a lot of Conan, and I'll show you what you get. So you get these ten books here mm. uh, from the run. You get nineteen. It's a single mm-hmm. one. Twenty. 93, 179, 180, 182, 183, 185, 186, 188 with the anniversary border, and that's not enough. I will throw in the two two annuals here, ten and eleven. And if that's not enough, I will throw in this here: Savage Tales, between oh, Conan. Great cover. Number three, and mm. for good measure, Savage Sword of Conan, number one. Ooh. Ooh. No, sorry, number seven. It's a no. dollar. No. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Still yeah. a nice cover. Yeah, I know what that cover is. I knew. <laughs> so all, cool. all this for seventy five bucks. That's, me. that's a Vallejo. Remember Mayo? Is that a Vallejo? Yeah, not that one. The other one. This, uh, the other one. Where would uh? I think it's a Roman Curtis. Let's see. What is it? Is it? No, no, it's a Boris. It's a Boris Vallejo. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, yeah. It's also a Roman Curtis. See, it says Curtis right there. It's Roman Curtis. Yeah, Curtis. They had to publish it on <laughs> Marvel, published under Curtis, because to get away with the uh, comics code so they could show nudity and violence in there. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we got the. Two annuals and this lot of ten books. Ten Conan so, books, guys. Ten Conan books, seven fifty a book plus the annual, right? Yeah, ten right. So that's ten books, two annuals, and two magazines. Oh, the fourteen magazine books. Wow. Yeah. Seventy five bucks. Wow. For this entire thing here. Yeah, any of those Boris Vallejo. Or uh, Frazetta covers you can get on the Savage Sword of Conan are phenomenal books to have in the collection. Great artwork. Great artwork on those. So, so you see, look at how nice that is. Yeah, and these are, these are you know, very fine plots to near mint minus. Look at that. No Conan fans in there? Anybody want to start the bidding out at $75? This is a, there's a lot of value in this, guys. A lot yeah. of value. 10 books here. And then you get the two annuals. I'm telling you, Conan, you gotta be specking on Conan. Specking on Conan. On Spider Friend, I know you're a classic Conan fan. Oh, that's right, he ran away looking for change. He escaped. He won't. It's looking for change. (laughs) Very funny. Stop trolling. Oh, wow. No, the first Red Sonja is not in there. Uh, but her I sold it last show. I sold it. I sold it on on Saturday. Yeah, you did. Where were you? 
Luigi. There are the greatest covers with Solomon Kane, Red Sonia, Conan, and I can't remember who the fourth one is. One of my all time favorite Curtis books. That in the first cover appearance is Satana. All right, that's guys. Wa that's my waffle, Pearson. Where were you five minutes ago? If I don't get a bid here right quick, we're going to drop the end line here. Anybody want to get in at $75? Anybody want to get in here at $75? All right. Guess not. That's a lot of value. Oh, back to me. All right. Fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. Wait, what was he asking there? It's the yellow book top left back. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, it's the waffle. Ten dollars a spot. Yep, they don't make movies like that anymore, do they? All right, let's head on over to Mexico. What's up, Pedro? Well, I'm up already. You're up already. Yeah, All right. right. So I got seven left, guys. Seven spots. First appearance of Spider Gwen. First print. 25 spot. I got seven left. Like I said, crack a resubmit. Seven left. All right. Got feed by Nows. Star Wars. Higher Public Adventures, number four. 20 on that book. Got Amazing Spider-Man 53, the one in 10 miles. 20 on that one. Got Batman uh, 693, signed by Tony Daniels. 20 on that one. This one's a cool one. I got... Iron Man 302 newsstand. This is when uh, Iron Man and Venom battle. Newsstand 20 on this one. I got Batman 181. I think it's uh, the facsimile, I believe. Carvor Comics Trade. Poison Ivy cover. Doing uh, 25 on that. Got Ghost Rider 38, uh, 28. Cameo of the Midnight Sun, still sealed in the poly bag, 25. George Perez, goodness, Avengers, JLA number four with Superman. It is a wraparound cover. Beautiful wraparound cover. Let's see, both, I think that's DC and Marvel, Earth's colliding. But, uh, 30 on this book. The old reach around. The old wrap around. <laughs> New Ages of Atlas number two. First appearance of Swordmaster. Later becomes Iron Fist. 35 on that book. Oh. Annihilation Conquest number six. First appearance of the new Guardians of the Galaxy that you see in the MCU. 50. Great read on that Annihilation. And my last one, I got a nice high grade. Catwoman 53. Yeah. 51. 51 New York Comic Con limited to uh, 500 copies doing 90 on this one. All right. Give me a $50 starting bid, good sir. Look at All that. Right. You've already upset Miss Liz. It didn't take very long. What? No, she's saying about something. All right. So we got three book lot, $50 start. Ultimate Spider Man number one from the original run. Signed by Mark Bagley. Nice. Uh, the old bag man. Nine six. Could be higher. But yeah, Never got that one. Got this one, Amazing Spider-Man uh, 355. 
signed by Mark Bagley. Send him in the CGC and get yellow labels now. I know, right? The JSA got them now. <laughs> what color the labels are going to be. Yeah, right. That's right. And 359 signed by Mark Bagley. Shameless. Shameless. Nice high grades on these. Ooh, that's a nice little book. Yeah, these are nice. So what, what's the total book count again here, buddy? Got three. Three total books. Guys. But if you notice, his signature changes as his signature, and then it changes to this signature. But yeah, he's not cheap anymore. Is that a first print of the Ultimate Spider-Man? Yes, sir. Take that. That's always consistently been a, a good book to have. Yeah, it's, it's a nice card style, but this one's in nice shape. Yeah. So I got three books on here. Signed by Mark Bagley. Probably take, probably can submit them to CGC now that JSA is taking over. But you can always send them into CVCS. Yeah, and this one's a nice condition. I'll look for you, Cap. I got you, Cap. <laughs> Marvel feature number one. Yeah, he wants a Marvel feature number one. He's looking for one. Yes, sir. Oh, I know I've got that somewhere. All signed by Mark Bagley. Nice You're talking about ASM. the Avengers one, right? Yeah. I thought I sold you one of those, Cap. Maybe not. I haven't had a couple of copies of those. Cap's always buying. Yeah, yeah, this one's a beautiful copy right here. Defenders and Invaders. He is a Barbie guy living in the Barbie world. <laughs> well, you know, that'll get you an Oscar these days. That'll get you an Oscar these days. Yep, three books, all signed by Mark Bagley. Painted on ash. Nice, nice high grades on these. All right, guys, about 20 seconds left. Anybody want to get in on this? Anybody want to get in on this? You better do it right quick. Yep, you know, Ultimate Spider-Man is a hot book, like Brie Plays was saying, like iconic cover. It's signed by Mark Bagley. Great book. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at the, the data right now on the uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number one. And, I mean, right. Dude. 50 bucks that book you're not you're not bucks. getting this with a signature for 50 bucks but all right appreciate it guys all right guys that'll do it end line is coming down end line is coming down appreciate uh, it appreciate thank you cap 
you all get your wins in the private chat. Please smash that like button for us. Liz has the official count. I don't care what Paul says. Uh, you want to keep us going on that? Um, all right. You got me, buddy? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> oh, let me put your uh, thing on there. Banner. Oh, you got it. Okay. Oh, you can go. Oh, go ahead. I was just turning off the comments there. Um, I got uh, the first appearance of Sneaker Boy and the Spider candidate Boy. and the candidate copy. I have no idea. This has been in my box for a while, so um, I've got a nine eight candidate of X Men Adventures number one, but I can't believe how cheap that lot sold before. I got a candidate copy of the uh, Greg Land. Um. Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm running a warfle. I am running a warfle. Um. Not going to take long to fill this one. Uh, Ten dollar entries. Pair of nine twos. One has a custom label. If you're into the Wolverine. Uh, Ten dollar entries in on that. It's about. I think it's about half full. And the cool thing about these, they both have cover art on the back. Both have the cover art on the back. Um, um, I've got, I see one arm lizard guy made the trending list. Um, Skier. I think I have more. I should pull out all the ones I've got. Anyways, so uh, you got this one. You've got the, I think that's a Walmart variant of number one. The greatest modern Star Wars cover of all time. How BA is that cover? Um, and issue number three, which is also a variant. In fact, there's two copies here. You could have them both. Um, 30 bucks. 30 bucks for all of those. 30 bucks for all of those. And lays into some Star Wars. Um, how much time I got? Three minutes. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share my screen. Because this this be an interesting topic. So as we said, the Popeye movie got announced today. They're gonna do a Popeye movie. And uh if you're into Whitman's, this is one of the most scarce. Whitman, I think it's one of the 20 most scarce Whitman comics there is. Popeye the Sailor, one, 159. There we go. Screwed it up. Scarce edition with the Whitman logo at the top. Um, um, I will go 40 bucks on this. And it's got my main man Wimpy on there. Jay Wellington Wimpy. Do you want to get out ahead of the Popeye spec? Because it just dropped. That news just dropped like this afternoon. So um, I got one of those. Very severe Whitman collector or a collector fan of the show. I'll get you there. Um, how much time I got left? A buck fifty. Don't forget about my waffle. I should probably put that up. I have got a Wolverine 8. I would auction off tonight if anybody is interested. And I also have some um, um, Dave Stevens. I got a Dave Stevens lot coming up tonight. I know Spider Flint keeps trying to get this from me, but um, I've actually. I turned down a couple of people on it. I see it made the trending list this week. I mean, the trending list just dropped like 10 minutes before the show started. All right, last buy it now here. Um, I have a high grade, a high grade set of Doom. I've got the first magazine size official adaptation of the spectacular new film, Dune, and I've got all three issues. Um, the only thing is issue number three is going to be a VF plus VF VF plus copy. Everything else is in a very high grade. So I will do the complete set. All four. 
I will do at a hundred bucks. Um, and actually there's one bonus book that goes with this. The first mention of Dune, they interview, they interview, uh, the writer Herbert in, uh, in an issue and do a cover on Dune. And I've got that first comic, uh, magazine. I throw that in two for a hundred bucks. All right. All right, let's, let's start a bid, good buddy. Uh, we're gonna start this. I'm gonna start just at $150. Uh, yeah, I would okay. normally start this at one dollar, but for how long it took to get this one, I'm not gonna roll the dice on this. Uh, looking at ASM 601, just throwing it out there. ASM 601, I don't know if I remember what that is. 601, is that the, the this is the first solo cover first solo for Wolverine. Wolverine. First solo cover for Wolverine. Made the uh, trending list this week. That's his first standalone uh, first comic. Like first yeah. standalone the whole story. Solo. Yeah. yeah. First yeah. solo no, cover. Not. This is in a comic clear. Oh, the J. Scott Campbell cover. Ooh, okay. Very high grade. Um, <clears throat> What's the grade? As a candidate, Louis. Oh, man. Yeah, Cap. Uh, I don't. It's been too hard to get that magazine, that Dune magazine, in decent shape. I've got a couple copies of that, and. Uh, most of them are, are banged up. That one's in decent shape. Dark Phoenix Saga Part 5. First solo Wolverine. I turned down $250 offers for this book already. Is it, Is a, it Mark a Mark Jeweler? Jeweler? Yes. If it were a Mark Jeweler Baron, it'd be $500. <laughs> in this With an extra staple. Uh, this is also um, where they confirm Wolverine's healing powers. So this is the first issue where they actually confirm that Wolverine has healing powers. They hinted at it in issue 116. I mean, this, this has always been a big time X Men key book. Uh, especially if you're a Wolverine fan, he kind of comes into his own here. First solo Wolverine cover and confirmation of his healing powers. I mean, really, it's like the first full appearance of his healing. Oh, dot com. This is a trash copy, dot copy. You don't want this. <laughs> it is a candidate copy, Doc. It is a candidate copy that. Um, really, I, I mean, I, I was looking because I was like, if I'm going to sell this, I need to try and find another copy to buy. And I couldn't find a copy anywhere worth buying. A raw copy. And it is a newsstand. It is a newsy. Ooh. Candidate copy. It is. I didn't even need to clean this book. This book looked like it was never even handled um, or never saw any daylight or fluorescent lights. Staples are clean, corners are sharp. A doc cop, we got to go five dollar increments. Oh, that's right. Yep, five dollars, buddy. Yep, there you go. We have five dollar increments, guys. Five dollars. This We're is going to be in overtime. Books. One of these books that took me a long time to find a copy like this. Well, it's going to be sold. Trying to buy a couple copies so I can. Well, it's going to be sold. 
<laughs> you gonna talk over me? No, I'm waiting Every for day. you to. I'm waiting for you to start having seizures. Well, if I could part with that 57, and I looked up what I paid for that Avengers 57, and that was the dumbest thing I've done in probably since I started selling on YouTube. No, I, 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 don't know. I think you've done dumb. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sharing, a, sharing a panel with you might be a second, huh? Wait a minute. Don't blame me now. All right. Ooh, here we go. 190, Robin Roberts. Here we go. I mean, even like the ones, like the high-grade copies on eBay that they want a stupid amount of money for, you start looking at them real close. All right. We are in overtime, guys. Overtime. Shot clock. Because some of these are just like, when are you going to find another one? Here we go. Ooh, searching for X-Men's at 200. Dang. First solo Wolverine cover, part five, the Dark Phoenix Saga. He's there mowing down Hellfire Club gang members. Wolverine lashes out, so it's just the reveal of his healing factor. Or his healing factor confirmed, confirmed in this. All right. Issue. Spider Flynn at 205. There we go. Oh, damn it, Paul. I forgot to check my. Why don't you remind me? Yeah, if you've ever actually read this book, I think it's the, the very last page. Uh oh, there goes the picture, Mr. Collector. Uh, with Wolverine with the sewer grates above there him. There goes replay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know that scene you're talking about. That's that's actually, I think, in the middle. It's because uh, is it the, the middle? Set, the heavy set guy uses his power to sink him into the sewer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been homaged so many times. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a there's the toy biz, the action figure had a comic not for sale version of this yeah was it marvel legends yeah marvel yeah. legends right right mm. uh true believers copy of this i think and a facsimile yeah i just had a marvel comics presents it has that similar cover. oh yeah, yeah. had that scene on the cover oh man well the, the, my problem is it is it's difficult to find the better copies. Um, Ooh, search for X Men. And uh, without buying them graded, finding them raw, right? Yeah, Marshall got that reveal. What is that in the like the three forties? Find out those Reavers are the guys that Wolverine tears up in this book. Yeah, Hellfire Club. Uh, is is goons what they say the story is here but the reavers are uh the goon Reaver. squad i mean even beyond an x-men book this is a wolverine book key key wolverine book first solo wolverine cover first healing factor revealed I got another high grade Wolverine variant on the board. I also got a nice high grade copy of the twins book, the twins homage, old Danny DeVito and in the Governor. Governor. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. All right, that was the timer, guys. Oh. Nope. Nope. Reptile Rip says nope. Tie well, I try and start out the auction with a bang, and I'm playing hooky from a project I need to have turned in by tomorrow, so I got to come with the fire early. Well, that's some good fire there. What are you trying to say, spider -Fan? I don't know. It's, it's a nice book. I got some uh, 15 cent Spider Man still. If anybody's uh, interested in those, um, I got plenty of X Men books, lots of X Men books. I've got the uh, Steranko, a run of Nick Fury, Agents of Shield, all the iconic Steranko covers. Hey, Miss Teresa. The bum is here. Uh, I don't. Well, it's like I, I've been trying to hit this deadline, and then like 
a day before the deadline last week, they hit me with a bunch of changes. So now I've been scrambling all week to get it done. <laughs> and they want and they want renderings, Robert. All they right. Renderings too. In line coming down, guys. In line coming down. I mean, it, it's a part of it's like a kitchen, but the other part's Rip, like a bar. They want to see what the guy is the winner. Two thirty. <laughs> all right thank you mr Rittai. i appreciate that don't forget about my uh x-men or my wolverine first patch and first weapon x set of 9.2s and really he says way. changes more fee i think that's illegal in canada there Robert. yes it will be reflected in the invoice right um Luckily, it's a uh, well. You know how it goes. Sometimes you make more money on a percentage-based project, but this guy, uh, he's an hourly rate project. Okay, uh, who got that one? Riptai. Riptai, two thirty. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Let us know what you guys might be looking for, so we make sure we've got some books that you may want, and. Uh, what was the other book you showed earlier, Spiderfoot? I've also got some. You want a good spec right now? I'd be buying Captain America books. I'd be buying Captain America books, especially this one. <clears throat> I guess I'll, I'll show it. But this one and the first Nomad uh, be a good book to grab right now. All right. Uh, can you do some? advertisements there good sir while i populate all right buddy no problem uh like you said give us a follow on the strictly comics group facebook and uh instagram, instagram. I think what 100 followers you said mm -hmm. right yep he's gonna give away a first appearance uh, slab guys so y'all keep following on there let him know send a screenshot that you're following we appreciate that as always and check out the madhouse on mondays wednesdays and fridays you catch cat over there um you catch spider flint mr collector you catch uh the jackal over there bunch of great people mondays wednesdays and fridays on the madhouse there we go pop-up coming in uh, on the 30th so y'all tune in on there great we have a great time on there. Great books. And uh, yeah, always a great time on there. I have the panel under control for like half a round. And then I don't know what happens after that. But yeah, I will try to keep them under control, guys. So if you hear zapping and all that, and if you see this, then you know something's going on. But yeah, y'all check us out on that Saturday. And like always, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, come and check us out. And thank you for your support on the affordable auction. Longest running auction on the YouTubes. All right, you indeed ready to get, buddy? It is. Indeed it is. Um, uh oh, we lost MT. Uh oh. <laughs> I got to share my new screen here. Here we go while we're waiting. Watch out for this guy. Yeah, let us know if you guys are watching X Men '97. Did you like the cartoon? Um, I heard it was pretty good. I did get to watch one of the episodes of uh, Invincible. I know the second yeah. part of that season dropped. Uh, yeah, it's too bad Wolverine died, but it's all right. It's a good book. It's a good show. Yeah. If you're watching Invincible, let me know if you like the new couple. Uh, episodes who you got anybody there paul what do you got anybody no i didn't get okay. oh you can take me off empty oh no you're staying on you're staying on and cap it's a giveaway cap the Ramius, did you want the dune books let me know i'll put you on the race yeah i thought he said he wanted them if nobody else took them yeah if nobody else got them he said i'll put them on there if he buys them off off screen all the time and then uh who got yeah mr Ritta, mr Ritta. 
Okay, guys. Uh, if you didn't see your name, speak now or forever hold your pieces. 45. We're going to set it and forget it on a duck race. Once, twice, three times a lady. Good luck, everybody. Reminds me, I turned the music down at the beginning. And I didn't turn it back up again. He did miss the date. He's like that. But. Hey, why does my guy be brown over here in T? Absolutely, absolutely, Robert Roberts. What was that? Why does my guy be brown? Well, that's because you got a red nose and can fly. All right, I'll let it slide. Mm -hmm. You look at that coiffe. Stony. Stony. Yeah, that's right, Dan Castro. We just can't ignore the fact that uh -oh. Spider Flint had the spider duck. Liz says it's too loud now. Sorry about that, Liz. MT does that to make you upset. All right. I got my own spider duck. Spider duck. All right, Mokadoni. That's right. The spider duck. Show him. There it is. The spider duck. I got a real spider duck in the direct import from Europe. Uh, so, Stoney, yeah, let me know which one you want. This. Uh, Let's see here. This ASM, it's got these line scratches on here, so that's why I like to give it a separate, right. separate option. Oh, a... The Aliens is a Pirello covered. ASM is a Del Auto. Watch out, Liz got the wrenches now. Or you can have both. I don't care. Okay, it's up to you. So hit me up. Let me know on those. Which one does he get, Spider Friend? His choice. Oh, okay. Winner's choice. Okay. One, one, the other, both. I don't know. Okay, and then um, Replays has got the giveaway for this round. You want to go ahead and show? Oh, the oh man, come on, man. Take out the head off, man. You need to burn it. I was, I was just, all right, all right. You know what? I'm going to do this. <laughs> you know what? I'll do this. Screw it. Just because oh. MT just sold that book. Ooh, there you go. There oh, you go. boy. This cover is fire, man. So yeah, this is yeah. the X-Men classic. Yeah. And it's, you know, I guess it's homaging, but I'm, and it's, it's an affordable yeah. book. But um, I don't know. I got a bunch of copy of these. I spec on this book, but. I just, I just think eventually this is going to be a yeah, man. That's the a single issue. You're, you're no, a smart no, guy, it's, man. It's little, I think it's Lytle, little. Lytle, yeah. Lytle, Lytle. you're a smart yeah, guy, Lytle. man. Wrong hat. Uh, thanks, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's that's going to be the giveaway this. Uh, that's this cool, round, right? Awesome, awesome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh oh. Let's head over. Uh oh. To the most dangerous man on the YouTube's. All right, so since my waffle only lasted the first round, I dug out another one here. Get out of my tubes, spider plant. Got a, uh, <laughs> this is the one. Fantastic Four King Size Special or Annual Number 6, 1968. Mm. This is the uh, birth of Franklin Richards and first appearance of Annihilus. Oh, God. Is it a King Size Special or an Annual? Which is it? King Size King. Special. Whatever, man. I mean, King Size Special. <laughs> Guys, that, uh, Annihilus, uh, Annihilus is one of the all-time top-tier villains in the Marvel Universe. Uh, you want a good Annihilus story, read the Annihilation Wave of the mid-2000s. Fire book. Anybody want to get in on this? No. You're going to have to give me a spot. $10 over. a spot. Got 30 spots. We're doing buy three, get one free. So mm. just like the first time. Give me uh, a spot so on that one. So if, if I buy one, I get I, if I buy one, I get three free Spider Man. Uh, right. No, is that what? Yeah. yeah, I think that's what that said. That's what I thought. Good, good catch, Bruce. <laughs> What'd you say, MT? Uh, one. Yeah, you saw Stony wanted the ASM. Yeah, right? yeah, I got that. I saw it. Thanks. One spot for MT. All right, ten dollars. Yeah, um, on that first one, MT. Everybody else bottles. Every people, other people wanted those, so I didn't get you in on the first. Uh, oh, then give me three. Novel. I'll get the I'll get the special on that one. Then. Give me the the bundle. Okay. That one I absolutely want to see. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, searching for X Men. I know you're out there. Uh, I think I saw you heard you were uh, into horror books. I got this uh, Nightwalker set from Colin Bunn, Source Point Press. It's a five parter about uh, these kind of vampire looking creatures. And uh, so 15 bucks if anybody's interested in Nightwalkers by Colin Bunn. And then I also have another one 
called the approach it's from boom uh so these people get stuck in an airport in a blizzard and uh something arrives in an airplane and it's not too friendly so again, there's another five parter oh yeah five fifteen did it happen to you did it happen to you spider -Man? because of yeah they were mad because he came in in like a single talking about uh horror mm -hmm. books don't you have a death of wolverine no oh yeah oh. No. i binned it i think last last round right oh miss mayhem mm -hmm. said night workers she takes it night right. workers. <laughs> animal take it down this, that's a uh, different story paul old mm -hmm. night nurse thank you miss ma'am <laughs> night wankers night, no he's night wankers that's what that said big night wankers yeah i can't say that <laughs> I got a Ultimate X Men, eight dollars each. The number one this is the uh, Peach Momoko cover, a cover. She wrote the story, did the art, interior art as well. This one is the variant cover, Mark Brooks with that new character, Waystorm. <clears throat> All right, uh, where's that Virgin Alert? Fine, I got a. a Sp what is it? Spider Gwen, Ghost Spider, Spider Woman. Uh, David Nakayama, Virgin variant here is a near mint minus 10. Got a Hellions. Yep, there it is. Hellions 10. Uh, is that color bleed or something they call it? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it just blends in with the background, but it's, yeah, it's not negative space because you got it outlined. But Color bleed is what they call color it. Bleed. It's a Virgin cover, whatever. So 10. Uh, this one's 12 for Hellions number 10, also Nakayama. Psylocke. You're really selling those books there, Spider. Yeah, I know. And then uh, this is Electra, Black, White, and Red, or Blood. Um, number one, Sabine Rich variant. Bobby B, baby. So, uh, get those if anybody's interested. Also have, just came out, What If Venom number two. Wolf Venom took over Wolverine. Oh, that's what it was? This one you're talking about? Oh, yeah, like cover. Yeah, I had a great joke. <laughs> uh, whoop, there we go. Had a, Landscape. Had a batter blood. Yeah. Scotty Young variant. Five dollars on that little guy. Got a Hulk 340 homage. My dead piss score. Waiting for the cat to start doing tricks in the background. Yep. Yeah, uh, none of them are here right now. I'm looking. I'll call them up later. Uh, I do also have a Hulk 340 homage, twenty dollars for the Predator versus Wolverine number one. The, both variants, one of the one of the Wolverine, one of Predator. I got the. Uh, that was the whole thing about that. Uh, you know, shake treat bag, get them. I got all four of the hologram covers oh, from all four Spider-Man series, forty bucks. All those high grades. Yeah, call them Spider-Man. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Yes. Is my time already up? Man, that was quick. Yeah. All right, what's your time been there, buddy? You took some time off of there. But... I did? <laughs> All right. Uh, give me... Hang on, I don't know which one to do. Should I do Disney or Hulk? Anybody, any preferences? No. Nope. Disney right. or Hulk, people? Hulk? Yeah, is that it? Hulk? The... Uh... All right. They burn the castle to the ground, those communists. Uh, give me a $5 start. Please. All right, you got it. $5 start bid, regular or a winner choice? This is a uh, regular builder. Builder, builder. All right, so five bucks. Got Hulk, 427, 428. Mm. Little uh, Hulk, man thing, love going on there. Brother, that's when they first meet and cross eyes, like ooh, Star Trek, and then you know, oh, oh. Jeez, I'm slacking on my I can't quit you. So, five bucks. They're <laughs> newsstands. Why, yes, they are, Paul. Thanks. Mm -hmm. These are actually uh, great, great issues if you're a man thing fan. Uh, it's kind of a popular set of covers there. I know I've got, I've got copies of these great books. <clears throat> so Five bucks gets these two in at ten dollars. Another five bucks. We'll throw in Hulk 388, Dale Keown cover, and oh, another 389, another man thing cover. That's uh, from his name Barker. It's the last name on that. But you got Hulk in his eyes. 
What man yeah. can love? That's exactly where they got that from. Is that book? Hey, look at that! Look at that! Almost like a, all right. So value. ten dollars will bring in these two. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, another another five bucks bring in three seventy nine. Dale Keown. and these are all new stands. Is that a cameo book? What's that? Is that a cameo book? Cameo. I I didn't see anything special on that. Sorry, but. What gets in the man thing, all the man things? Uh, $10 for the first four books. Then it was uh, 15 to bring in 379. So 15 for all five. And then at 35, we have a high grade near mint. <laughs> first McFarlane. 30. First McFarlane on Z Hulk. On Z Hulk. Uh, yeah, so. This was his first uh, first cover on the Hulk, right? You know, he didn't do another cover till 340. It's his first, I think it's his first cover art for Marvel, period. Yeah, so I don't know why, you know, he started doing the interior art, but he didn't do another cover until 340. So it's interesting. I'll have to look that so, one up. I can't remember if that's his first cover art, period, for Marvel, but I think it is. Maybe. So at 10, we got all four of these in, 427, 428. 388 for Speed Freak and 389. These are all high grade newsstands. Pop culture is in at 12. <laughs> oh, Riptie. Watch it, Riptie. Okay, I typed in McFarlane and it says he doesn't exist. I know he did a few. <laughs> he a few spell it right out. Yeah, I don't so, think he did that. Pop culture in at 12. A, We've got he sold a few sport. comics in his day. And he's using the Google. Googles. And he's using the Googles. Uh, he used a strictly, yeah. Google just and, like uh, it's the same. Three more dollars will bring in search results. Uh, near mint minus Dale Keown face Hulk. So that comes in at 15. Then so much easier to do the phone app. Do 30 bucks. 30 bucks total. Bring in first McFarlane Hulk and all of these guys. All right. So what's the total book count and the all in? Just one more time here. We got 20 seconds left. Six books, 30 bucks. Bring in everything. Right now we're at 12. We got the first four in. What shape is the McFarlane in? Yeah, it's it's near mint, man. It's, uh, For thirty bucks, guys. it has have some little spine. I guess you call indentions, but they are not color breaking, as you can see. Yeah, nineteen eighty seven, Gray Hulk. Man. He's green. He's gray in the box, green on the floor. First cover art on a main title by Todd McFarlane. Main title. Pop culture. I thought we were all in. Oh, jeez. You want? No, oh, he's. He can't pull out now. I think he's. We're under the first. Saying, that's what they said. Gotta listen, man. I'm gonna go 15 because I want all. Of, I really want those man things. All I'm right. Well, man. 15 throws in, brings in 379 as well. Oh, okay. I love me a good man thing. It's Rick James. <laughs> Throw that in. Oh, so we got again. These are all high grade newsstands. Who doesn't love the giant eight? Side. Little broke back mountain action there. Yeah, right. I can't quit you. Three eighty eight, three eighty nine, wow. and three seventy nine. That was a great yeah. impression. <laughs> you know, he was an Oscar winner, right? I don't know which one said that. One of them did. I think it was the Joker. Heath Ledger. Banner is being lifted by Ross. I don't know what that means. Bruce Banner is being lifted by Ross. Thaddeus. Ross is man thing. Thaddeus Thunderbolt. All right, guys. Fair warning on the end line. It's about to come down here. Fair warning on the end line for this giant size man thing lot. Giant size man thing. All night. 
Fitty, right. three, five books for fifteen dollars. Go to your McFarlane. Ooh. A little late now. Oh, oh I see. What, what's it going to take to get that McFarlane thrown in? Oh, that one. Yeah. That was another fifteen, but. I only want that one though. We'll talk about. It. All right, let's move on over to Mr. Bree Plays. What you got going on this round? What fire Bree have plays. you got for Bree us? Plays. All right, guys. So, all right, keep the McFarlane theme going. Um, I'm going to start this at 50 bucks, and every one of these is a 9.6 or better. I promise you, every single one, 9.6 or better. Uh, this is spawn one through nine, all direct. Number one, and I will show the spine and everything on this book. It is the, I don't know, they say it's an error copy or whatever on the inside cover. It has black dots, but I don't know. Number two, everyone a 9.6 or better. Some of these are absolutely a 9.8. So a set of candidate copies here, $50 start bid. And this came in a collection I literally bought just a long box from a guy that was just specking on Spawn in the 90s. And he just had copy after copy of one, two, three, four. I mean, most of these have never been opened. It's the first Billy Kincaid. There's a lot of there's a lot of keys. I think people kind of know what the deal is with this. First that, overkill. That's the lawsuit book they can't reproduce. I think, well, I think nine's also a problem, too. We'll get there. And maybe and that's what seven. it was. Yeah, it's number seven. The seven, this is the one that McFarlane actually never signed the cover. Yep, never signed so, it. Yep. So people like to get these signed by McFarlane. It's like the number one book that gets signed by McFarlane. The Spider-Man 1 homage, another popular book that gets signed by McFarlane. I actually want to get one signed myself. This is the lawsuit book. Uh, this is the uh, Angela. Yep. Um, this one absolutely none of these have been cleaned and pressed again. I'm I'm gonna tell you they're all nine sixes, but definitely some candidates here. No, uh, six I wanna... issue, issue number six has a 10 year court battle initially awarded a twist over 24 million dollars. Like, I'm pretty sure they cannot reproduce that issue. Number For, six. Okay, number six, okay, yeah, yeah I, I don't First know. I know they forward. went to. I think was it Neil Gaiman took him to court for nine. Yep. And uh, you know, whatever he got the rights back to Andy. And he sold it to Marvel. Marvel just to piss him off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So again, number one. And she first, became Thor's sister. Yep, Thor's okay. sister. First appearance of Medieval Spawn, and uh, the cover was inspired by Wonder Woman issue number seven. <laughs> Yeah, this is a lot, guys. He's saying these are all candidate copies, guys. There's just a slew of first appearance appearances and keys in this lot. I don't know why there's been so many postings and videos about Spawn this week, but uh, I watched quite a few. Even Comic Tom did one. Yeah, first Billy Kincaid, which is a pretty dark character. Rob Liefeld, co creator of Overkill. Hmm. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, issue number seven is the first time he forgot to sign the cover, right? Right, yep. Issue number eight, yep. First Appearance of Vindicator and the Origin of Hell, written by Alan Moore, pinned up by Frank Miller. There you go. Nine, the Angela. So the Angela book in a high grade twenty dollar book. Yeah, the, the the Angela book. If you own a press, it's it's a nine eight. If you own a press, I did not press them. I mean, somebody wants me to press it for them, I I no problem. I mean, I can just keep them. The only issue with number one, I gotta find it myself. It's <laughs> there is. I'm I'm pretty tough on myself, so. I, I, it's it's so small. I don't even think it's going to show up. Right near the one is. Does it have the splatter on it, or is it uh, a yeah clear on one? the inside? Yeah, it is. It's the it's the error. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Which 
it's an error. There's 7,000 errors, so I don't know how you're going to really justify being an error. Nobody knew about it until he was in an interview and said about it. But I mean, he was pissed off about it. This book is. Yeah, this isn't the uh, the cover error. It's the error with the logo on the inside. The inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, because like the cover error is like a thousand dollar book. Okay. Yeah, the cover on the inside. Yeah. All right, guys. This is a great deal. All these are candidate copies. All these are candidate copies. Uh, nine books or ten books on this one? Uh, nine. So one through nine. First spawn. I mean, basically with issue number one and the Angela, you're already at 50 bucks. Plus you're getting yeah. issue number two, which is the uh, first appearance of the clown, the violator, who was played by, uh, oh shoot, I forget his name, Emilio. Yeah, he played what, uh, Luigi in Mario. Super Mario. Yeah, yep. Super Mario. And then you get the child molester in issue number three, Cyan Fitzgerald, Black Mirror. All right, guys. Um, fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. You can always hit up replays on the Instagram. See if you can work yourself out. John Leguizamo. Yes. Yes. Right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Michael. Guys, I'm going to just keep rolling with X-Men after this. So I got a big stack of this new X-Men Morrison run, if you know what this is. So. There you go. That made the trending list as well. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's Thank head you. on over to Dapper Dan, man. What you got going on, brother? What's up? What's up? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Ground nope. control. All right, cool. All right. Um, so this is going to be a slab. I'm going to start this off at 75. And the reason why, and I mean, it's still a good deal, I think, is because it, it is cracked. So you would have to get it resubmitted. But it is a first appearance. But it's also signed by Stan Lee. Oh, first trash panda. Damn. Is it $75? Yep. Holy moly. Wow. Like I said, it is cracked right here, so it does need to be resubmitted. But let's see what we can do, people. A witnessed. I actually got this signed by Stan Lee uh, when he came to Comic Palooza wow. uh, back in 2015. Now, why wow. did they give you a 5 5 on that? Yeah, I, I think it's, I didn't press it or clean it, so. Yeah, that's second gen label, it looks like, yep. Wow. You can't get a Stanley signature for 80 bucks. Forget the grading. No, it's at 100 now. Daniel's like, I'm at 100. Yeah. Oh, can you keep an eye on the bids here for a second, buddy? All right. 105, Troll Fire. Wow. That's cool. Stan the man. 110. I think you can even, what, submit it back in and ask them to press and clean it for you? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much they'll charge, but yeah, you can do the reholder, guys. Yeah, that's why I wanted to start at 75 and I wanted to be up front about the uh, crack. Still at a price like that, it's still good. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't bust the ca case, did it? No, nah, no. Nah. It's, no, just, it's, uh, it's just, it just cracked, yeah. Mm. But, uh, Signed by I Stan mean, Lee, first appearance of Rocky uh, Raccoon, Raccoon in comics. Damn, Daniel said, Yeah, Word. it is. Yeah, I wish he didn't do it there, but hey, what can you do? But at the end of the day, it's still a Stan Lee signature. But yeah, I. It was not the best place. You told him to sign right there? No, it, it's a long story, but um, he he quickly signed it. But I got it signed, but I didn't get it witnessed at first. But then there was a bunch of people around me, and one of the guys that worked for CDC went ahead and uh, when I went to the booth, at first they weren't going to verify it, and then uh, he, he happened to come along, and he gave me the okay. Which was good. But yeah, yeah just remember, just, gold label. Mm -hmm. just in case someone's just coming in, it is cracked. 
just this little part, but I want to be upfront about that. But everything else is fine. Like I said, I've had this since um, 2015. I mean, I've had the book longer, but yeah. He said, seen worst sig, black sig, dark background. I mean, you can still see it, but yeah, he should have signed it like yeah more than words but i mean you can see it when it gets when you get pulled it closer yeah no it and also the bag doesn't help which let me just that up. damn empty put me put the banners yeah thank you buddy got you nola all right, guys, we're at 50 seconds, but we'll be in overtime. Nobody's folded. Stanley's signature he does have a crack on the bottom, but he says, you know, you can't reholder his second gen, so you probably could get it pressed and cleaned. Yeah. But it has to and go I think with PCS. Five, five. Stoney's in. Oh, whoops. All right, we're in overtime. Overtime shot clock. Here we go. Troll fires in. Daniel got the underbid, but troll fires there. Hold on, that ain't official yet there, uh, Pop Culture. CGC will start signature. CBCS is dead. Oof. Battle Pretty of the harsh death. words. I know. Paul, for you always saying Battle of the Dead, that's that's harsh. I mean, he, he said that they were dead. I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, what do you want him to say, man? I mean, y'all make sure you're all watching the X Men. Animated series Wolverine dies at the end, you know. Yeah. And I think uh Professor X dies in the next episode or something like that. Daniel's in one thirty. Wow. I got a I got the next round, guys. I have a huge builder lot, so stick around for that as well. Quarter for war. Right, Paul? All right, there goes Fighter Flint. Fighter Flint. Dot cop. Right there. Oh, it's Fighter Flint. Look. When you going to come on there Sunday, Dot cop? Recess the timer. Troll Fire is in the lead. Signed by Stan Lee, guys. Five, five. Again, guys, anyone that's just gen. coming in, it is cracked, so you would have to get a resubmit if you'd like, but that's, again, it is it is cracked. So I do want to be upfront about that. But I never personally pressed or cleaned it, which I think it presents better than a 5-5. Five, five. Where's the worship in it? <laughs> Appreciate everyone bidding. Y'all make sure to smash the like button and give every one of the guys on the panel a follow. Impressive, you know. Thank you, pop culture. Appreciate that. Appreciate he's that. Good, he's just gonna culture. look over your stuff, Michael. You see that? See what I'm dealing with? Where, I don't care what. All right, impressive. You're out of here. Oh, 145. 
Impressive. You get a wrench. All right, you just keep holding that book up, man. Are you straining or something? No. <laughs> that, that's how we cracked it the first time. <laughs> uh, too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Spider Flint? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Spider Flint? He gone. He gone. <laughs> hey, fellas. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's going to be Riptide? He's been getting books tonight. Wow. Stony. Oh, no. Daniel says SP. Don't fall for that, guys, because last time I. Old school label. You said this is the second second gen, Paul? I think so. Yeah. The first one had like couldn't even read it. Second one has I think the the pages are in the page quality is in the middle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got all the print on the back of the label. Yeah, it's second gen. Yeah, it's got all that stuff about the company and all that. Mm hmm Thank you, Brief I appreciate that. Appreciate what? What you just said. What you mean? Anything for a Phillies fan. Appreciate it all. <laughs> I know, man. That man's a smart guy, smart comic book guy. But, man, he sports. Hey, appreciate I appreciate What the hell? I think, he, I think something happened to him. It happened to sports. No. Like I said, if anyone's just coming in, it is cracked. That's why I wanted to start off at 75. But it is signed by Stanley. Like Daniel said, it's not the best placement for it, but hey. I mean, it's a Stanley signature for 160, getting the book graded, already yeah. graded. I mean, all the grading fees. I mean, yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to get him to sign a book now, too. So I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're going to be waiting in line for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would advise not to buy the Express. Crack now. it, <laughs> send it to a real presser, keep it original label. There you go. I yeah, mean, some people don't on, like though. some people don't like it like that. They probably like Nola said they'll crack it, clean it, press it, and keep it my lard. Hey, whatever y'all want to do. My thing is, I, I get it and send it in to CCS and tell CCS. them, hey, man, do something. Yeah, the, they're great. They're a pressing company. As long as it's in their possession, I think they can do it. It's in their possession. Never mind. It's too much for you. Never mind. All right. Here we go, guys. We got the end line coming down. End line coming down. Appreciate everyone bidding. End line coming down. Who got Rip it? Ty is Ty. the winner. Appreciate it. We'll give you. We'll do this for you. Come back. Alicaciente. Yeah. We just burnt Mr. Collector. He's gone. He gone. There go, there go my hair. Well, all right. We're going to Brufna. Brufna, you wait. I'm here. All right. Let me see where you at. Where you at, Brufna? Hey, man, sit up straight, man. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not me. This is me. And I don't know why I have a timer, but okay. Then nah, I took it off. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, all right hold up. Yeah, you might. All right. Uh, I, I have a waffle. Uh, $10 at the top. We've got seven spots left on the Alpha Flight number one, 9.4 white pages. 1983, Alpha Flight number one. $10 a spot. We've got seven spots left. Also, I have a pull box. You get four pulls yeah, and a waffle old, spot. To win the Moon Knight Waffle for ten bucks, so there you go. All right, we'll buy it now. Let's start with twenty-five bucks. I've got War of the Worlds. 
Uh, this is uh, Amazing Adventures 18. First Kill Raven. 25 bucks. We have Amazing Spider Man number 15. Variant. 10 bucks. Also for 10, I've got Vampirella versus Red Sonia. Number one. It's a great cover. Uh, also for 10, I've got Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine 100. Awesome cover there with Ghost Rider. Wolverine holding up that 100. Oh, Sam Keith cover. Yeah. Um, okay. 15 bucks. I've got Amazing Spider Man King Size number nine. Is that a, is that a reprint cover? of yeah, 39? Or what's going on? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, these were, I think, reprints. Yeah, the King Size. Yeah. These are not the annuals, though. 15. Also 15, I've got number 10. First fly. The fly. Or human fly, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with the unhuman fly. Uh, okay. 347, ASM. Iconic cover here, right? Was that Eric Spider Lynch. Island or something like this? Okay. No, this is Venom. He's, he's homaging uh, or reenacting. Yeah, that's Spider Island, ain't it? When he's on Spider Island? I don't know, is he? I, I don't think so. One. 25 bucks, newsstand. 25. I think Spider Man's dead. <laughs> uh, Doom Patrol 19. First Crazy Jane, 30 bucks. One of the more underrated shows. Shit, damn. I don't know. Take that off. Uh, 10 bucks. I've got Strange Tales 184 between Doctor Strange. Oh, Hamlet. <laughs> Do I want to move appearance? Mm hmm. Uh, 35 bucks. We've got Submariner 29 against Hercules. 35. Uh, 10 bucks. I've got Crisis on Infinite Earth, number one. You stand $10. Mm. Here we have Captain America, number 25. Sam Wilson becomes Cap, mm -hmm. also 25. Who is the new Captain America? Yeah, who is the new Captain You just spoke. It's uh, Sam Wilson. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've got a bunch of Harleys here. I'll run them. They're 10 bucks each. Was that Derry Chu? Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. One, this one, this one. Yeah, I think they're all black tree clippers, if I'm not mistaken. They look like dairy too. Choo choo. Ten bucks each. Choo choo. Choo choo. All right, uh, I guess it's time for a. All right, what's the Richard McClellan's? What's the starting bid, buddy? All right, let me... let's see here. Where do I want to start this at? We got two, three, four. 39 uh, likes, go. guys. Y'all keep hitting the like button. At 30 bucks. $30? Yeah. The so brand. here I have a lead. For those of you, 
who actually read comics. But the uh, major keys are out of reach. Or the old stuff is out of reach. I've got a lot of... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five. Marvel Collector Item Classics in nice shape. So this is number five. And those are the books that it reprints. Fantastic Four, eight. Tales of Suspense, 42. Strange Tales, 114. And Hulk, number four. So you'll get this. We'll get number seven. Reprints. Reprints these four books here. Number seven. You get number ten. You get number eleven. And you get number twelve. These are all really nice. You get to read. How many books you got in here? Huh? How many oh, books? Five, five, five books. Five. Yeah, these are all square bound as well. You know, obviously they need to fit four comic books. <laughs> well, you got like four stories in each one. That's like 20 stories. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, four issues in each one. Yeah. Uh, I think Spider Flynn messed up on there. Yeah. Oh. They added some other stories. Yeah. yeah so number six. Spider and this number is why six. they tell you to read it, guys. Yeah. You know? And it all makes sense. There you go. Yeah, like cover. Yeah, that's a cool cover. Dude looks a little happy though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Too happy. I didn't know he gets smile through that mask. Look at that. Puppet master. Puppet master. You have to get 8, 42, 114, Hulk 4. <clears throat> Trying to use a big comics. They're really in nice condition, too. I also do have a waffle going for the Alpha Fight, 10 bucks. Got seven spots left. There's only 12, so your chances are very good. Yeah, I think I got a spot on that waffle. Do you? I think you do. Yes. <laughs> Is there anybody uh, reading some old books here? No one? No one? No one. No one likes old books. Yeah. Minute 15 left, guys. Minute 15. Look at that. You get a Tales of Suspense 47. Fantastic 415. The Watchers hanging out. How many people in chat? We got 51. Y'all keep hitting the like button for us. We got 59 likes. Thank y'all for being here tonight. Chantilly Cat is the only one chatting. One impressive, too. Well, 
I've been Chantilly is. And he hasn't spoken in two minutes. <laughs> See, he knows they're great reads. No. I think my turn is the bathroom break turn. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, I suggest that people don't eat before they show The bathroom break turn. Wow. No, you're not, partner. Get out of here. He says, I'm not here, guys. I am. All right. In line coming down, guys. In line. All right. Oh, man. Damn. Damn. Just some really nice folks. <clears throat> All right. Well. All right. Appreciate it, buddy. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you already. Okay. Yep, I'm back. I got you. Oh, you got. Oh, I'm up. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all being here tonight. Keep hitting the like button. We got 59 likes. I said I only got seven left. Seven spots left. 25 a spot. First appearance of Spider Gwen. Already did a crack of resubmit on one. I think this is a candidate. But uh, seven spots. 25 a spot. Win that for 25. You win. This one. I got Beavis and Butthead number one. First Beavis and Butthead. This is the second printing, 9-8. I think there's like 11 in the census. There's like 600 and something in first print, but second prints are like harder in a 9-8, 375 for this. There is a pink and a red glove. It also sticks it. Take a print. 375, harder to get in a 9-8, second print. So I got all new Wolverine number 19 KRS. This is the trade or germ X23 20 on that. Got the Black Panther number two run the jewels. Second print 20. This one's a cool one. I got uh, X23 Deadly Regenesis. Number five, the Tyler Kirkham 340 homage. You got X23 and uh, Honey Badger. 20 on that one, the trade. Is it Honey Badger? Yeah, you don't see her. Honey Badger. Mm, I didn't know she was in that. 340 homage. Homage. I got Secret Wars number one, the first uh, incursion with the 616 in the Ultimate Universe, but this is the comic block. Dead, Deadpool variant cover with uh, Captain America. Who knows? He may be in the Captain America movie. 25 on that. I got new uh, Avengers 53. The new, the new Miles suit signed by Sway. Doing uh, 30 on that one. Signature. Arthur Adams. On X Men number one, White Queen, one in 25, doing 35 on that. Beautiful White Queen cover. Got the new Avengers number 11. It is a newsstand. It would say like direct edition, but it is a newsstand. Maybe even a different price point. Uh, first appearance of uh, Ronan, but not Clint Barton. He comes, becomes Ronan later. 50 on this one for the new stand. I got X Men 205, first appearance of Hope Summers. New stand. I find a bunch of directs, not a bunch of new stands doing 80 on that one. Y'all look this up. 80 is a good price. Thanos 13, first appearance of Cosmic Ghost Rider, the one in 10. Uh, Mike McCone. Variant signed by him doing 80 on it. First Cosmic Ghost Rider Thanos 1 in 10 head variant. This series kicked off again. Invincible uh, number 19. First appearance of Battle Beast. And, uh, 100 on this one. All right. Give me a uh, $20 start, good sir. 
regular yeah function? yeah i'm going to do this one i got a nice high grade on this spectacular spider-man nice high grade i got it at an 8590 and it is a our jeweler Oh, pops in. Some negative space cover there, huh? Black suit. I don't have nothing else. That's it. I don't have nothing else. Pop culture. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah. What's that on the bottom corner? Yeah, it's outer got corner. a little, little, little water stain or something. Got a little thumb. Jeez. And wash your thumbs there, man. It's all that, it's all that barbecue down there, too. Yeah. That's why I put it at an 8.5. But I think it can come oh, yeah. out. It is. I love all those black suit spidey negative space type covers. Um, before it became a thing, they were the first ones to really do it. Before that Alpha Flight, because that was the next one. It was uh, one of the earliest quote unquote negative space covers. Gorgeous looking cover though. Anybody else want to challenge pop culture at $21, guys? We've got about a minute and a half left on the clock. Minute and a half left on the clock. Anybody want to go 21 on this Spidey lot? lot Art Jewelers. Yeah, I think that's nice. It is it's a national diamond. No, it ain't a national diamond. But I like these because. You know, the serviceman didn't fall for the, uh, didn't fall for the, uh, thing and, uh, then submitted in and then didn't fall, didn't buy a ring and then come back and paint on the ring and she gone with somebody else. That ring, the ring, ring, ring. I could put up a first Falcon. I don't want to bid on a first appearance of Falcon.
All right, guys. Uh, if I don't get a bid right quick, this is going right to pop culture for a 20. Fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line, guys. Coming down. All right, Pop. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Please smash that like button. Three. Please smash that. Where is it? Please smash that like button. Appreciate y'all being here. Um, at 100 likes, we will do a giveaway. Uh, we will send Taylor Swift to your house to uh, give you a hug at 100 likes. Oh, fuck yeah. What mama don't know won't hurt. What mama don't know won't hurt. Uh, so make sure you're keeping up with those likes. Miss Liz says we were right around 60 likes last time I saw. Yep, yep. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, my Dave Stevens books are gone. Um, but I do have, uh, I do actually have, have another Dave Stevens lot uh, I can put up uh, next round. I got to get them in new boards and bags, but I do have another Dave Stevens lot. Um, but Spider Blunt, what if Venom was already, what if Wolverine was already taken over by Venom many, many years ago? That's the book I want to show you. One of the all-time great covers from the new Avengers. Yeah, yeah Spider Flint. What if you saw that Spider Flint? What if? Yes, yeah, Spider Flint. Tell us what if. What if that already happened? Um, actually, I do like that what if cover quite a bit. That's a great looking cover. Um, I got a warfle going on. I got a warfle going on. Uh, $10 entries. You'll get both of them. This isn't an either or. You're going to get both of them shipped and insured your door. They're both 9-2s. They're both criminally graded at 9-2. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe an argument for that one because there is a very small tick in the center, but still, I think 9-2 is a little harsh on that. But um, at any rate... You get them both. They both have great cover art on the back. Great cover art on the back. Ten dollars. Ooh, sorry about that, Nola. He does that, man. He just stabs people in the back. Sorry, I was you just already know what they were, Nola. You watched me buy some of them the other night. Yeah, he's he's upset now. Yeah. yeah. Plus, I also uh, I did mention it. I don't know, right? But I do have another one I'll put up. I do have another big season block I can put up later. Sorry, I take a phone call. Um, we can do a Wolverine lot or we can do a Spider Man lot. Let me know what you guys want to bid on. Um, crispy copy of Nomad <laughs> number one, which they basically stole that whole renegade look from the 90s. Remember Renegade, that guy on a motorcycle? Ten bucks on that. Um, I yeah, you tell him, Pop Culture. Somebody did a. Uh, you tell him, Cap. I was just reading the story earlier this week about the production, the storyline for this. I've oh, got geez. issue one through four, GI Joe Transformer crossover, all four issues. I know that 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 Paul doesn't recognize a lot of these Transformers. He's a GoBot guy. Omega but, Supreme um, Blaster. Come on, now. Bumblebee. All four. All four issues, I'll do 40 bucks on those. What's crazy is that that tied into the Transformer uh, run. So. Yeah, right. you tell him, Nola. You tell him, Cap. You tell him, Liz. <laughs> no, oh, I didn't even get that. Well, I didn't uh, even <laughs> reading what they're saying to you, buddy. You got to read. The thing. Woo. I have another one. I just don't have them boarded <laughs> and bagged and ready to go. But I do have another Dave Stevens. Like, you I mean, tell him, I Cap. Half of them were the Rocketeer books, so. Oh, those are good. Yeah. All right, give me a one dollar. Okay, ready. All right. Oh, any chance that Wolverine number eight is a newsstand? I don't know. You gotta check the back. It does say B on the back, so maybe it is cover B. 
Um, dollar starting bid. All right, here we go. Now it's a direct. Oh, it it's is, a direct yeah. copy on the. I think Wolverine. it's a life field cover in the back, huh? Yes. Yep. Yeah, see that that they ripped that off. Remember when like a bunch of arrows brought him down in that movie? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, when they shot him with the. Oh, comic dog! Oh, no, you don't. Don't sell my book. Uh oh, here come comic dog. Um. All right, might as well start showing the book here, huh? Oh, all right, Coulter's didn't even see it yet. You know what we're bidding on? Ooh, Got a nice high grade copy of Amazing Spider Man '84. First appearance of the schemer. Schemers be scheming. Scheme. Schemers be scheming. All right, time is going, guys. Here we go. Dollar starting bid. Wow, y'all just gonna let pop culture get this for a dollar? Are y'all for real? Nice high grade copy. Nice high grade mm. copy. Um, mm. we're not a spine tick on it. It's just got. I mean, the only thing I can really even say about it. Uh oh, is, and pop culture put the official in line. The Farron John says nope. It needs a little. It needs a press, like always. Um. It just has the slightest, the slightest bit of tanning on the back cover, but it is very slight. Hmm. And this is, I don't think they reveal that the schemer is Wilson Fix, Fisk's, Fiskus's uh, son. Son, right? right. Yep. There's something else in this book. I think his wife, right? His wife. Yeah, this might be the first full appearance of Vanessa Fisk. Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. He was 83. Right? Uh oh, think but there goes Spider Flint. I think. Uh oh, there goes the collector. Is her cameo, if I'm not mistaken, but it could be. Uh, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. 83 is first full appearance. Thank you, Mr. Spider Flint. You're welcome. This is 84. Right. Okay. 84 and you know there's let me show it up close you don't have any spine breaks on it corners are good colors are good twenty one to Farron. No foxing. The corners are decent. Oh, the jackal's in! The dirty jackal is in. 36, Baron. <sighs> I mean, you're still talking a minimum of an 8.5, I would think. Mm. I will not be denied. He's going to get mad because we're only at $36. Go try and buy one somewhere for $36. Yeah, you tell him, Nola. You tell him, Liz. All right, we're at 45 seconds, guys, but we'll be on overtime. Nobody's folded. Who is going to get this book? Uh oh, there goes there Spider Flint. Our, uh, this was like a three part story about the schemer. He'd be scheming. Schemers be scheming. Yep. And uh, speculation that Michael Gandolfini has been cast as Richard Fisk. Hmm. But I think we've all but confirmed that at this point, right? And then Sandra Holt, who played Vanessa, is returning. So Vanessa, this is like her first story arc, part two of her first story arc. So they go to dinner. 
All right, yeah. here we go, guys. We are in overtime. They overtime went shot clock. They went to dinner and didn't tip the waitress, and this is what happened. Man, oh. they just take it out on Spider Man, huh? Looks like yep. he's trying to do the old dinner table uh, cloth. Oh thing. yeah, yeah. Pull the <laughs> pull the tablecloth. Uh, yeah. Kingpin strikes back. Yeah, George Lucas read this issue and changed the name of the third movie. <laughs> nice high grade ASM. No safer investment than Silver Age ASM. Although I think this is right at the cut off this might be the very first couple issues of the bronze age right because silver age technically ended in 69 i believe yeah that's gonna look like a sandman in there sandman tablecloth oh sandman tablecloth are you kidding me all right, that was the timer, guys. In line, coming down. In line, coming down. Wow, killer pickup. Killer pickup. Butterfly said no. Nope. We set the timer. Don't hard to get high grade copies. Aaron's like, nope. We set the timer. I'll I be catching and napping. I have to buy them twenty at a time to get a. I have another copy of Marco Man Mountain too. No, don't worry, uh, Farron. I think we're at Spider Flint's budget. <laughs> He's searching the couch for a loose change. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that, Spider Flint. I would never say that about you, Spider Flint. Yeah, well, it's what he, he sends uh, protest to look for him. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, I never nap. Tell him, Farron. Don't worry, Farron. I think we're at Spider Flynn's budget. What do those books say? I bet you they it says Ramita on there. Yeah, that probably is Ramita. I don't know who that Ramita guy is. Right, he learned a lot from Ramita Jr. You know? Really sharp looking cover, guys. Nice high grade copy of ASM eighty four. The Empire Strikes Back. All right, in line coming down, in line coming down. Wow, killer deal! Killer deal, Farron did well on that one, buddy. Did well on that one. All right, thanks everybody. Please smash that like button for us. Farron's the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I added another three books to that uh, Star Wars lot. Um, if anybody's interested in those Star Wars books with the uh, one-armed lizard guy. <laughs> All right. Um, you want to do some advertisements here? And I will yeah. relate this race. Yeah. yeah. Oh, don't do that, MT. I'm sorry about that, Spider Flint. Mm -hmm. Don't do that, MT. Whoa. I'm here for you, Spider Flint. All right. Please follow us on the Strictly Comics group. He says if we get to 100 likes, I mean 100 followers, guys, he will be doing a slab first appearance. We don't know what it is, but give a follow and you will be entered. Hey, everything helps. Uh, appreciate y'all. Always come in and support and uh, give us a follow on the Strictly Comics group on the Facebook and the Instagram. All right, check out the Madhouse on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. You can catch uh, you can catch Mr. Collector over there, Blue Fine. You can catch uh, Mr. Jackal. I think uh, Bones been over there. Helvetica has said over and over, "I am the greatest host ever." Thank you, buddy. Yeah, it's hard, being, it's hard being a great host. You know, it's a lot of dedication, a lot of time consuming. When you know, you people appreciate it. And they always, they always message me after a show to make sure I'm all right. And I appreciate that, guys. You know, but check them out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Getting deep in here. <laughs> you be quiet over there. Hey, man, you get the race. Anyway, 
Y'all check out uh, Saturday the 30th. The pop-up is going to be on. Always have a great time on there. I promise you guys I will have the panel under control this time. It usually lasts like, I think, after two guys and after two sellers go and then I lose everything. But this time I promise I have everything under control. Y'all check it out. Uh, on Saturdays. Yep. You, you, you're also welcome, Comic Dog. Comic Dog's ready for the pop-up as we are. All right. On March 30th. And then, as always, uh, appreciate y'all support. Seeing us on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Longest run auction on the YouTube, the affordable auction. I think uh, you're ready, MT. Oh, don't do that, MT. Sorry about that. Sorry, for Sorry I'm going to draft Nola. Come on. Um, help us out here. All right, guys. Everybody's on the race. This is all I got. Uh, Miss Mayhem, MT, Retired, Pop Culture, and Mr. Farron Johns. If I missed anybody, speak now or forever hold your pieces. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Watch it, Nola. All right, let's go super full screen. We're going to do a robot race. Look at them. They're, they don't have any power. Let's get some batteries up in here. Once, twice, three times, a lady. Good luck, everybody. Look at Rit Ty go. Spinning that little wheel. Go, go, Rit go. Ty, I know you ain't doing anything. Look at Farron. Farron's like, excuse me, guys. Come in through. Something. I don't even know what pop culture doing. Look at those little legs, pop culture. <laughs> little <laughs> arm swinging, too. <laughs> He's like, oh, you ran out. Uh-oh, uh look at him. Uh-oh, pop culture say, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Keep up the three. same face, pop culture. Oh. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> He's waving by, sucker. That's the greatest. There you go, T Bain. Oh, man. Well, pop culture. All right, you can stop running. You only got so much battery power. <laughs> He's running out of juice. Uh, oh, man. All right, awesome, 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 guys. Please smash that like button for us, and we will do a giveaway at 100 likes if we can get there. We will send out Linda to look for a few more likes. Well, that's all. Um, so the, the giveaway went to Pop Culture. You want to show him what it was there, Mr. Replays? You're on mute. You're on mute, rookie. Sorry, said, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. And it's so the giveaway. That's what we do. The giveaway was this, correct? Uh, yeah, I, gave, I don't know. I you, you're you're the one that's yeah. giving it away. Yeah, I, you are you sure it's that one? This was the giveaway, but for I think it was the number one. We will, we will make it, buddy. <laughs> I have plenty of Terrocks if you want a Terrock instead. But uh oh, he's gonna <laughs> early retirement. This was the giveaway, and for some reason, I guess because I showed this earlier, I thought that was my round, but this was the giveaway. It's going to pop culture, pop culture. All right, I'll switch that tag. All right, pop culture, get in touch with me on Instagram, and I will. Send this out to you. Yeah, hat included. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> what do you got there, Dapper Dan? You got a giveaway for us? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jim Lee Super. Jim Lee you dirty dog. You're that? out of here. You're out of here. <laughs> he'll throw in a free piece of stale bubble gum from a 1980s baseball card pack y'all help out collector because look at those blinds man those things are filthy dirty off white to white <laughs> off white to white all right dino flint fire it up hey replays did you get a message from uh mike slaughter I... He's asking about your spawn you got two minutes left spider flint y yes i did okay Hurry up. Two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Dude, for my come on. So I uh, got a new waffle here. Fantastic Four, yeah, King Size really Special, good. number Ooh. five, first Annihilus, first uh, Baby Franklin. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with the new movie coming out, I mean, they're already a little bit older. Maybe Franklin will already be born, you know, maybe a little, maybe a little <laughs> wee kid. 
So there we got ten dollars a spot, thirty spots. If you buy three, you get one free. This is He's a already taken advantage. Killer book, guys. This is a mega key book. Mega key. All right. Get you a spot. Get in Nihilus on it. Nihilus is a great character. Right. Right. Uh, I've got a set here. Seven books. Major X. It was uh, from Liefeld. Coming back to Marvel. Help create some new X characters. 20 bucks for that. You get zero through six. Major that X. was huge when it came out. Yeah. There's a few feet on Wasn't uh, this Well, yeah, you got some yep, feet. Look at that. Head. He's even got nubs. life field feet. Those are How can you beat that? With a stick. We got Fantastic Four 236, like 20th anniversary special. This is the cover by John Byrne. It it's got a kind of a retelling or a reprint of a FF number five, Doctor Doom. 6% direct. Uh, Transformers number 12. Your mint copy, eight bucks. You have to yeah. tell Paul who's on the cover there. He don't know. And uh, <laughs> Floptimus Prime got a Newsy two fifty six first Puma. <sighs> you selling that one? By the way, you love that book. And, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate X Men. All right, you know. Let me know if you want either copy. <laughs> Pair them up. These Peach Momoko wrote and drew these. She did the cover for the A. Mark Brooks the cover on the. I can't the believe nobody hasn't bought that that hologram set yet. For forty, it's forty bucks for all four issues. Yeah, that's all what, uh, four. That's insane. What grade are those in? Yeah, they're all high grades. Uh, uh, this, this one, uh, it's got a couple of finger bins, uh, like in the hologram. Well, Christian B like likes the finger books. So. Mm, yeah. The others, yeah, are near mint. So this one's only. I think, especially when Spider Punk does it. Damn, Liz, you gonna tell a collector like that? Wow. I can't believe nobody's bought those already. I'm gonna have to get those. If they, nobody, if they don't sell by the end of the night, I'm gonna take those all. Of all right, and you let me know about that McFarland hold too. Uh, I got a <laughs> yeah, near mint minus. Uh, Spider, Spider Gwen, David Nakayama, goodness. Also, Psylocke, Nakayama, this is Hellions 10. That beautiful cover there. And then Sabine Rich, version variant here for Electro, Black, White, and Blood, number one. I like the sister, Sabine Poor. What? Uh, <laughs> what if Venom number two? There it is! Yeah. There it is! Taking on a. Uh, what if uh, Venom had possessed Wolverine? Got a uh, landscape here. Scotty Young, Deadpool, Battle Blood. Um, it was the first uh, McFarlane cover on a mainstream title, the uh, Doc Sampson Hulk cover, Metal Knight. So if you want to sell it out, right? That's up to you, Spider Man. Yeah, this is a uh, near mint. Um, it's a twenty-five. If you just want to buy it, nice crispy copy. First, was it first McFarland, McFarland title? You said cover on a major title, five bucks for homage, three forty. How much time I got? Twenty-nine seconds. Whew. Olivia Copiole. Very oh, yeah. black suit. Spray. I like Copiol's art. Yeah, what else I got here? So uh, negative space variant. Six four. You, you got a web of Spider Man number one? Web of Spider Man? Are they they talking about the original one? You know, they just had a uh No, the original one is on the trending list. Okay, the original. Yeah, because they had a one shot that came out yesterday. Yeah, that, that was, was on there too. The one the original, yeah, I got the original. Mm, not, I don't know. That is one of the most tragically undervalued comics ever. All right. Auction time. What's your starting bid there, buddy? Uh, Ten bucks. Ten dollars, little man. So, got a ASM 137. This is the, oh, hello. This is the second appearance of Harry Osborn as the Green Egg Goblin. 
This one, it's like a, it's a mid-grade copy, like a four or five. It's got a few condition issues. But what we can do is a builder here at 30 bucks. Oh, and this one also, yeah, a little, it brings it down, a little nibble there on the corner. Got hungry one night. Yeah, stop letting Proton eat the book. Yeah. So at 30, I bring in 136. Uh, this is the first appearance of Harry as Green Goblin. This one, uh, I mean, the, the cover is great. It's solid, but uh, the Marvel value stamp was cut out. And I think they used an X-Acto knife because they cut through like the next page and then they taped it the square back in on the page. So it brings it down. <laughs> nice. I'd say like a, you know, probably a 3.0 with that. So that'd be at 30. Um, and then, let's see here, at 50, you bring in 135 as well. This one, man, if, so again, it wasn't Proton, but some little creature there we got very hungry. Right. Nibble on that corner. But I mean, if that corner was intact, it's probably be like a 7.5. So, explain to people what this is. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, sir. Second full appearance of the Punisher. Some people say he had a cameo in 134, but so second, so second full appearance of Punisher. Origin of Tarantula. Great cover. What brings what brings in that book? I'd say 50 for all three. 50 for all three gangs. Second appearance of Punisher. Even with a little nibble corner, that is a huge book. Oh yeah. So, like I said, the the nibbler got this one too, but not one thirty six. Nibblers be nibbling. Yeah, this one they <laughs> got that Marvel value stamp. Oh. Is that a is that a Spider Man uh, villain? The nibbler. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The nibbler is a Spider Man villain. So this one does have the Marvel value stamp in it. So if you want to cut it out yourself, you could do that. I don't know. So, mind showing off the X Men cover? He he wants that un yeah. unfolded cover. No, he's dead serious about that. Yeah, he's dead serious about it. That's a, that's yeah, that's so. a Nola type of thing up there. So explain him what's all in it's, for eighty bucks. What are you getting for your eighty bucks here, buddy? You know, I've, I've got off to the side, but it's a stack of books. It's all the Age of Apocalypse stories. You know, there was like, I don't know. Books. Yeah, a bunch of four book sets. You know, Amazing X-Men, Astonishing X-Men, Gambit and the Externals. Uh, I don't know, it goes on and on. So I've got all, all those four book sets. Got a couple of oddballs. You, got, you get the Amal Alpha, which has this cover on it. You get the X-Men Omega as well. So. And then uh, Farron is asking if anybody has the new Ultimate Spider-Man issue, in and do. Uh, I've got some copies, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure I don't you have do. any extra copies. But. Dapper Dan probably has ten. All right, any interest on these? All right, guys, three uh, amazing Spider-Man bronzy goodness here, including a second appearance of the Punisher. It comes in at 50. I mean, oh, there we go. We're Faust. We looked it up. I mean, I've seen like a mid grade copy of 135 sell for, you know, more than 50 bucks. I was going to say that book alone is worth more than 50, even with the little nip on the corner. Um, yeah, so, again, I'll show you that here. This is the big book here. So, you got that little nibble there. You got a little. I'm not sure what that color fading is there on the on the red bar, but uh, actually that looks like a printing error to me. Yeah, so you got a couple of spine ticks there, but I mean that's it. Yeah, you probably could still squeak a five zero out of that. Um, yeah, I mean it's 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 a, it's a it's a shame it got nibbled on, but yeah, I think I think you're right. I think that is just maybe some kind of printing error i guess yeah i've got other books that are like that they missed the part of the red didn't get printed over the yellow, yellow underneath because they print the red over the yellow so yeah i mean it's 
nibble corner, but it's it's, it's Mr. Beautiful. Carlos Sanchez is here mm -hmm. and he is in at 61. So we're all in here for all three of these 135. Well, I guess I'll put them in order. 136. No, nope, that's 137. Where am I? I? Can't read. 136 and 137. So yeah, unfortunately, 137. Like I said this one, no marble value stamp, and they. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, they cut that one out, and then 136. They cut it out with like an exacto knife and cut cut into the next page as well. But not the Punisher book. That was. Yeah, no, it, like I said, that, that would be, you know, like probably a 7.5, you know, uh, it has the value stamp, you know, all the interior pages are great, you know, you saw just a couple of ticks on the spine, but fortunately that little corner nibbled Proton got hungry one night. Actually, Proton prefers plastic, so I don't know. All right, that'll reset the clock again. Replay says no, we're going to drop a $5 hammer. Hammer man. Little four dollar hammer, yeah. That's a five dollar hammer. Don't shortchange briefly. It's Sixty-one to sixty-five. That's that's four. Whatever you're hosting. No, we, we use aquatic equation math here. There we go. Yeah, Noel, let me know if you're interested in that cover. Um, yeah, trying to try to get rid of the whole set of books. So they actually have. Actually, I have double, you know, like of some of the uh, subsets yet. So included in that, you got the Weapon X. This one's actually a new stand. But... So that's that's one of the series in there, the one-handed Wolverine. All right. Oh man, just in the nick of time. We just hit zero. Just All right, we're going to go 30 second shot clocks here, guys. 30 oh. second shot clocks, so stay on top of it. Three plays back at 70. People are starting to look up what these are selling for. Second appearance of the Punisher. Uh, what is it? The second Harry Osborn? What? Well, it's the first. That's the first time he's a Green Goblin. Yeah, the first and, then, and that's the second time in Green Goblin 137. Hey, JX Pidlex, what's happening? Howdy, JX. So 135, 136, 137. All three in a row. All right, Mr. Sanchez. Fair warning on the end line. Fair warning. Drop to 32nd. On the end line. No, no. Fair warning there. What do you say, uh, Carlos? And lines coming down. There it is. All right. Congratulations. Oh, Three plays. Thank you. That's that a great ASN. Second Punisher? Yeah, Dave. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Hold on. Thanks, Three plays. Did you, Carlos? Speaking oh, of which, please. let's head over to replays. All right, guys. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, Mike Slaughter, thank you. He actually did... Uh, Purchased that um, spawn, spawn lot from me. Yeah, that was a great, great lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank you, Mike. Appreciate that. All right, guys. So I have a uh, the new X Men lot. Um, this is the Grant Morrison Frank Quitley run. I say Quitley. Some people say quietly. I think he's one of the best artists in I modern think era. But pronounced people... Sinkovich. Sinkovich. <laughs> Right. Anyway, so this is a five issue lot. It'll be a small builder lot. I just I have one book that can come in at the end. Um, so this is the uh, I guess this is spec on. I'm I'm pretty sure. I think it's the uh, first uh, Cassandra Nova. Yes. Yep. Which I got. I don't know. Apparently she's supposed to be in the Deadpool movie. Um, so that's her first appearance. Uh, near mint 9.4 color uh, color breaking ticks on the spine. Uh, Did you give me a, a starting bid here? I am sorry. Yeah, I am such a rookie. I'm gonna start at a dollar. That's right. We, play. we all do. One dollar. Started at a dollar. It's a hat. It's the hat. It's the hat. <laughs> so <laughs> so this starts that run, the E for extinction run. 
this is the uh, I guess the big book in that run. And we got this one, which this cover is just a banger, man. Number one sixteen. Yeah, it's a um, great cover. I've been chasing a nine eight of this for so long. Uh, this is not a nine eight. This is a nine two. Great cover though. Other nice cover too. Dream Gray cover. Got it yeah, nine this is uh, that that X Men one fourteen is like number three on the hot comic list, which is like. Yeah, oh, I think it's been on there. Time. First oh. appearance, Sandra Nova. Yep. Got this one at a 9.4. This is, again, all part of that run, 121. And then this one, this is the lowest grade in the lot. Um, I don't know. Cool cover, I guess. But uh, So it started at a dollar. For these guys here, we got uh, five books starting at a dollar. And... Uh, if this gets to fifteen dollars, which this this book's a fifteen dollar book, this this is a fifteen dollar book, easy. If it gets to fifteen, I'll throw in the first Phantom X, which is one of my favorite X Men characters in the past twenty years. So this is his first appearance of Phantom X. If you're not familiar with Phantom X, go look it up. He's a cool character. And I will also throw in this. This is the E for Extinction graphic novel, which I'll just throw this in for whatever. So if people actually want to read it, it's actually a great read. Grant Morrison run, great read. So yeah, so, to... yeah I was just going to say that Emma Emma Cornyn is going to play Cassandra Nova in the Deadpool movie. So that's 100% confirmed. Um, okay. And Beast also goes through puberty in that issue. Gets further animal mutations. All right, so starting you, with Alex. Hey, uh, I bring you, I bring you the hot takes. I bring you the news you get nowhere the information else. Information that you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to bid on this. It can go with all my uh, <laughs> copies of the the new X Men. Ooh, what was that? Uh, uh, <laughs> And I know some people hate this cover. I, I think some like love or hate this guy, the, the artist here, Quitley. Like either you love him or you hate him. But I love it's still it's a great book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a great book. Grant Morrison. Yomo's in for a dollar. Right. I'll put him with all my astonishing X Men books. I think if I just keep this cover up, I might get three, some. four, and six. There you go. For some yeah, reason, I got a bunch of those and never sold them. Was that Agent Brand or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was yeah, Agent Brand. And then she didn't end up showing up in the movie. Yeah, she was speculated on and never showed up. I've, I've always actually liked kind of Agent Brand. She's a cool character. Reminds me of Lorna Dane. Mike Slaughter, yeah. thanks for stopping in tonight. I think that was part of what the Josh Whedon run. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, and you know what? That wasn't a bad run either, man. Compared no, it to wasn't. What you're getting now out of X Men, I don't, I, I can't keep track of what's going on anymore. Well, yeah. like Kitty Pride ended up, they made her into like an Omega level mutant in that series of cards. Yeah. Give it a little spine slide and see. I think. I think there's a little, little crunch in the top. You can, you can hardly even see it. I mean, it's pretty minimal. That's right, Nolan. Kitty is a murder machine in the current series, and she's yeah, she's busting out the katanas. And then yeah, if we get to fifteen guys, first Phantom X, near mint, nine point four. Um, I don't know. Phantom X is a really cool character, underused now. I think he's been dead and in comic books for about ten years now, so out of sight, out of mind. But dope character. He was in the. Uh... 
Astonishing X Men, where it was like 2017, 2018. Yeah, and then he was in like Uncanny X Force. Um, on that, like, uh, oh god, who did that run? It was like that real dark run. Man, I can't remember who the, who the uh, writer was now. I don't know. It was, I think it was like it was, they redid a new series or volume of Astonishing X Men and they brought back Professor X. He was all part of that. But yeah, they just kind of quietly. Oh, you guys are gonna let me steal these five dollars, guys. Yeah. Come on, for real. The Rick Remender run of uh X Force, he was a big part of. Yeah. If you remember, we will go a... into overtime, yeah, and it exactly. says enough said on the cover. That's all you need to know. <laughs> That's Christian B right there flexing. Man, I love that it. cover. <laughs> it's a hot book. Kitty is a murder machine. Didn't she phase a nuclear warhead in that uh, Astonishing X-Men run? In Astonishing, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, guys. That'll put us in overtime. Overtime, overtime. Okinawa Jarrett is here. What's up, Okinawa? <laughs> Popping in in overtime. $10. Guys, get the 15 first Phantom X. Look it up. This book's worth more than... Yes. Uh, the first Phantom X book. Actually, that's... There you go. All right. Listen, this guys. Is Bree, this plays is is, Bree plays is throwing out some deals here on his uh, inaugural appearance. Uh, I would capitalize on this gang. Yeah, y'all help him out. Look what kind of hat he's wearing, guys. Y'all help him out, man. No, I don't need sympathy. I just want to... Yeah. Hey, hey, you, you take uh, what you can get here, buddy. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we win in next year, so I don't know what you're talking about. All right, Paul. <laughs> right, Spider Flint? That's right. You, you got a hat on, Paul? Where's your hat? Oh, I got it. Oh, well, yeah, you know what? Let me go. Yeah, you know what? He's got it. Thank a, God. Got a, Thank God. Put a hat, hat on, Paul. Yeah, put on that Mexican soccer hat. Hey. Collector went to 15. Okinawa Jarhead's at 25. Oh, and yep. again, so they're all in, the right? Mix in. Yep. You get this for free, so you can actually read the the book. It's actually a, a really good read, like for real. It's a it's a great read, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean this this book is just such a great book. All right, guys. Anybody want to go twenty six? Otherwise, this is going. Oh, yeah, right to Okinawa here. In about five seconds. Fair warning on the end line, gang. Fair warning on the end line. End line coming down. Great pickup. Great bunch Ooh. of books there, Okinawa. Hey, man, I'll take it three for three tonight, selling. So that's that's a better that's than right. I expected. Take it. Good get, says Wolverado. All right, awesome, awesome. Uh, I've heard some rumors about what's about to happen here. Dapper Dan's going to bring some fire, gang. Dapper Dan. All right. Bring some heat. Since this is my last round, I'm gonna go out with the bang. Let me last go over round. somebody now. All right, 75 ship. Are you OG school people out there? Ooh. Yeah, got Secret Wars. Uh, comes with the hard shell case from was it 84? 80, yeah, 84. 84. Is, that a, is that a Kmart sticker? This is a Toys R Us Plus. Toys R Us. So I think it's one of those outlets, but still sealed. Uh, Honor, any Kenos. Michael Turner fans out there? Ooh, yeah. 25 for everything. Look these up. Yeah, that hollow foil cover. Don't sleep on that one. Uh, I had this for 150 which I thought I was already a steal, but I'll do 125 if anyone wants this. This is all. We'll just kind of go over it real quick. This is some goodness. Let me just get to the end. <laughs> yeah, get to the good. Because I looked yeah. up that book after you showed it the first time, and I could not believe nobody bought these. That book right there. Yeah. These. So. Adam Hughes. Adam Hughes, goodness. Yeah, but I mean, these are the money books. So feel free to look them up. 125. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know any card people, but I will do... 50, yeah, you can look these up too. 50 ship. These are from 1980. 32 cards. And these are actually stickers. But 
Yeah, yeah. You put them in your locker. Put them in your locker. There you go. There you go. All right. So this is going to be a builder, and I believe it was 10 bucks. Um, What's your starting bid, buddy? Uh, let's start off at 25. All right. So we have title interaction 345. Uh, McFarland does have a couple of uh, or a few spine ticks, but nothing too bad. Um, newsy, and we go up to 50. We'll do a high grade of Moon Knight number one. And if yes. we get some traction, Correct. we will go here. Ooh. And if we go up from there, we will go from here. Oh, there's Spider Flint. If we one, go up one. from here, we'll go up to here. Oh, Spider Flint. We go up here, we'll go up to there. Oh, I don't know about that. We one. keep going, we'll go up here. Oh, oh, is that a newsstand? Yep. Oh. We'll go to there. Oh, and if we get there, we'll go here. Oh, yeah. Is that a newsstand? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, so, what's it going to take to get in? <laughs> no, we're, we're, we haven't even. <laughs> We haven't even cracked. You're talking to me like I ain't going to bid on it. Yeah, he's talking to you, you like know, on well, a budget, I don't MT. Don't don't you know I will buy that book. entire stack of books. Don't, oh, don't oh, run. Oh, hey. Ooh, oh. if, if, everything, if everything comes in, everything. What, what's you all in? Ooh. He says we need bids first. I don't need that. I don't need that rogue book. I got too many of those. I bought the rest hey, of it comes in. It comes in. Baron Johnson, so, what's the all in? I gotta get Spider Flint said five. thirty. I gotta get five. Five hundred? All right, what grade is the Secret Wars in? <laughs> high. What's high? How, like how high? Like Are you candy? high? Like look at this. So it's like a fifty dollar book? All right. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's anything. MT, you know how I grade already. I know. That's why I said I'd buy the whole damn stack. Wow. No, let's you take that it. five off there. Bob. No, 500 for everything. Well, this is a builder, but 500 will get everything in. I see a mass marble. We'll circle back to that. Go ahead and show what the next book in at. Um, uh, 50 was because we're at 30 bucks. So, right? uh, the, the, the Moon Knight came in at 50. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll throw this in for 70 at 75. Jesus, man. That's like, <laughs> wow. At seventy-five, okay. that yeah. comes in, dude. Wow. About the next book. Just doing it. We're moving it. Uh, We're moving it. One twenty-five. What grade is that one? Oh. Uh, this is a high grade mm -hmm. as well. I just gave away a high grade copy for free the other week. What? Yeah, you need. Yeah, and I this did. is a Stan Lee story, guys. Stan Lee wrote this. We're going over the grades, Barb. These are all high grade copies, and then all right, let's get let's get to the twins issue. Let me make sure. All, all right. right, they're all in. What's next? Keep going. Uh, next we'll do Spider Woman number one. This does have a couple of dings on oh. the bottom. Hey, I'm being honest though. What's that? There's some spots there on the white on the wall. No, that no, those are the bullets. Is bullet cool. bullet holes. Yeah, okay. everyone like always says. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this will come in at where are we at one thirty. Let's get to one seventy five. There you go. Yeesh. Ah. Yeesh. Yeesh. Hey. Yeesh. Hey, we're getting there. I don't know there. why someone just doesn't just do the five hundred and get everything. Well, in. I'm trying to get there. I want you to go through the grades on all the books before I drop the five hundred dollar bill because this is going to happen. <laughs> I just trying to get there. Yeah, Barb wants to know the grades, man. All right, so Nola wants to see Wolvie eight. You want me to just go over everything individually? 
Tetranova folded. That's what that. I keep asking. That's what I keep waiting on. <clears throat> All right, so we have that one. Uh, this is a A5, I would say. Uh, Dr. Shane in this title. Uh, there is a little ding right there, but staple. Do you, do you owe a bookie money or something? Like, what is. Um, Why are you putting that one to say books? that? Hmm? He's got you an have, addiction. To... You had a theme going, and then you put that book in there. It's it's part of the theme. Yeah. That, this is a newsstand. All right. Uh, now, this go. does have its issues right here. Oh. Yeah, I know. Hey, but it's a newsy. Newsstand. Mm. Then, MT's favorite one of the Oh, five. my God. Hey, Rogue is still a great character. Yeah, you said direct. Yeah, she's holding her own in the. In the no. What no. with so much All going right. on? This Rogue's one. butt is a good character. That's true. Oh, I need that one. What the hell? Wow. <laughs> you know what? Oh, hold come up. on. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Wow! Hold up! I think All I right. Right. this one for you. Book. Can you run the shot clock, Paul? Because I'm gonna have to bid on this. I got you. And then you got. <laughs> like, you have hospital bills or something? Like, what's going on here? I yeah, bought a he's... big book today, and I spent more than what I wanted. But I, uh, yeah. All this right, we got twenty like seconds in overtime, guys. Uh, everything is in, people. How could we just be in overtime? Dang. That's yeah, bought a Superman one. He bought a Superman one. Ah, oh, five oh five. That wow. Was the timer. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, you have to go 50, 10? When you get to 500, you got to go to 10. That, that oh, bit doesn't is that, is count. That right? Yeah, you got to go to 10. There's, uh, Tell me $5 is going to break the bank? Yep. yep. Oh, my bid. My time. Oh, uh -oh. You, okay. you already reset the clock? Uh, Cancel yeah, that I clock. Was... This, there's a lot of value, people. Well, there's, 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 actually, there's a good question. Is, is Are these facsimiles? <laughs> wow. You have to bid to find out. Once oh. you receive them, you'll know. You okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm basically buying yeah. three books, and I don't even know what that is. I mean, I wow. I mean, the this guy's still in his personal collection? It's, uh, it's Death the Green Goblin. Wait, so is that a valid Death bid? Death the Green what? Goblin, yep. Who's the high bidder? Yeah, who's the high bidder? Hmm. Oh, Southern. Oh, Southern. Oh, I'm 10. Southern. Hey, buddy. That's it. That's oh. it. Oh, sorry, it's getting good now. Uh, you good. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah, I, I got you. I mean, I want that Moon Knight. I'd be happy with Ooh. that. Rep. No, you got to go to 520, uh, Weapon. 500, we go with Dang. $10 increment. Weapon is in. You got a 181 in there? Well, that, that, Secret Wars, that. that Secret Wars 8 in here is a crispy, crispy Yeah, copy. it is a crispy copy. Let me show that one again. Yeah, show it all. I got to walk away. I'm going to keep that one. I got to walk away. No, you... No, I'm Jack B, go to uh, damn, man, MT messed it up. Five thirty-five. <laughs> five thirty-five. Buy me. Buy Ten dollar increments after five hundred, guys. Ten dollar increments. This is for a good cause, people. This is for the. <laughs> this is for the help um, his addiction. This yeah, is for help the, my addiction. The, the get the clean. What are you addicted lines. to? Cocaine? Like what? Are you... I'm addicted to comics. But. <laughs> yeah, this one is a really. Oh nice come one. on! Amazing Somebody. spider Y'all gonna let Spider Flint get yes. all these books? Oh right my god! Head? Are you kidding someone, me? Someone. Oh Where my you god! T, save me! <laughs> oh my god! All right, in line coming down. Wait, Jack B. Oh, oh, Jack B. Oh. Say hell no! Hey man, that's a lot of books. You wait till the last second. I mean, whew. you scared. Scared? You should be, man. That's still, that's still value in here, Spider Flame. Yeah, there's fine. I'm uh, trying to think how much I give uh, Secret Wars 8. Hey, that's a Korean <laughs> copy right there. Probably 535. Mm. <laughs> Find me, Spider Flame. Find me. <laughs> That's a new yeah, this stand, one does guys. have yeah, this one does have its issues, but it is a new stand. No, it's supposed to be ten dollar increments in uh, after five hundred. 
Firefly, you do have free shipping with me as well. Wow, twenty-two guys. Yeah, that's worth ten dollars right there, huh? <laughs> All right, one last. Come on, folks. I mean, this thing should be <laughs> double. Well, Farron, you have money for me tonight, so. Farron. I think the it should be higher too, but you know, I don't have to follow him. Oh, here we go. That's right. Yeah. Uh, who's who's after? Oh, Brufman's oh. after him. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> Jack B's like you, Spider Flake. <laughs> you good? You saying it in in in, in uh? In, in, in the language, in the l proper language, he's saying, you're a great man, Spider Flint. Yeah. Remember, guys, this is for a good cause. <laughs> like, you beep, beep, beep. <laughs> this is for a good cause, everyone. I feel like the guy that comes up to uh, to the plate right after the guy before him hits the grand slam. Yeah. <laughs> Newsy. Awesome. And what's crazy is that he told MT this was going up, right? Yeah, I, I put in another chat too and told people. Free shipping for me too. Is that what he said? Jack B. I think I got a mark two. I don't think I have anything for you yet. Oh, right, forty-five. Who will who will who will get this? Are y'all going to Spider Flint? Oh, Spider Flint lives B. like three houses down from me. All right. No, he doesn't. All right. There he is. It's four. It's four. Five fifty-five. Jack B's like I'm in. Well, MT still in. But can I get some fire? Mississippi still in. Hold on, man. There's no, we're not done yet. Well, you know, only one person can win this, which means everybody else who bid has a lot of money in their pocket to be spending. So barbarian, Bar barbarian said, "What's yeah, one twenty-two? What's the grade, buddy?" He said it's pretty high grade, huh? Yeah, it's. It Nice. There is a couple little things, but I mean, you look up the value on that book alone, too. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of value in there. Good oh. night. I'm going to start a go find me for this option. MT, I had MT to walk away. Me. Seriously, I would have kept bidding on that. Good Lord. You didn't fold, so you're still in. And he can add another book there, MT. Yes. I was looking for another book to add <laughs> in, but I couldn't find it. Under big, under big. Someone Jack B's like them. nothing to see here, guys. Yeah, I don't want none of these. Nothing to see. Remember, guys, good time. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> Go for it. Go Go for for it. it. I can't. There's too many active bidders that aren't panel members to bid on this. Mr. Warrior, you just missed it by what? 544. All right, in line coming down, guys. In line coming down. Ooh. Put it nobody under big? Wow. Yep. Uh, <laughs> how do you call that an underbid? That's, That's a, it. That's a just All right, Jack B oh, is God. the winner. Congratulations, Jack B. Wow. Wow. Thank you. I thought for sure wow. Spider Flynn was going to wow. get this. Thank just you. let us know Thank if you, you don't want any of those books. His, his, his 122 is a total disaster. I'm surprised. You get, and his Secret War is a total disaster. Mm -hmm. you know? Wow. Man. Great lot, buddy. Great lot. It's he all didn't fun. Here. See, I told you to bring him on there, MT. He didn't want you to come on. Well, he, didn't, you know, he didn't want to come. Hey, Collector, your <laughs> PayPal's not on the scroll. Come on, like uh, yeah, yeah. Let me get that. Just, I'm going to put it in the chat right now. Acting like it was, you know, difficult. Jack B's like, I'm going to pay you right now, buddy, so none of these guys can get none of them books. Difficult. So <laughs> put it all over the books. I know it's tough. Wow. It's hard out here for a pimp. Out here. Oh. All right. That's. This is the guy that's got to follow that. Yeah. You can skip me. <laughs> <laughs> you I know, can skip Wall me. Wall you you can skip me. No, but, I mean, hey, only one person won, which means I saw like five or six of you bidding. You got money. <laughs> so, no excuses. <laughs> All right, mister. I got a stupid waffle. It's like 10 bucks. <laughs> No. What the hell is this thing? Like a, 10 bucks. I've got like seven spots left on this thing. Please wow. help me. It's an alpha oh, flight number one. Alpha flight number one. And you said it comes with a, a copy to read. Yeah. Yes. It's a, yes. It'll come with a raw book, high grade near mint of of this slot. Also, uh, I have a stupid pull box. Uh, four for 10. The greatest uh, face of the earth, gang. And you get a 
free entry into the waffle for the Moon Knight number one. All right. Uh, I, I had a I got a request earlier, so I, I'm fulfilling this right now. We have a Spider Man number one, fifteen bucks. I'm looking. I thought you had a bunch of nine eight grid cups. And here's another one. Fifteen bucks. Here's another one. How about a grid of nine point eight cups? Fifteen. I know you got like 50 of them. <laughs> and this one I have for 20. Twenty. I have the Daredevil for 40. 150. It's the first Pala Paladin. Paladin. Paladin? Is that how you say that? Uh, <laughs> 10 bucks. I have Siegel and Schuster. It's got a previously unpublished work from the creators of Superman. 10 bucks. What? $10, little man. $10. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, also, $10. I have Spider Man 2099. Number one. Oh, that's a deal for 10 bucks. Uh, 40 bucks we've got long shot number three first mojo yeah that's uh short shots all the road <laughs> got a submariner 38 origin of submariner 40 bucks Also, another Submariner 55. It's Torg. 25. I see Jack B says most of those books will be in his next charity mystery box. Yo. Sure they will. Man, that was a great get, Jack B. Wow. Quite a charity. Damn. All right. Uh, here we have a Shogun number one. New stand, 25 bucks. Dapper Dan bought those Spider Man sneakers. You got to pay them off. This is a candidate. Shogun Warriors. Bought them. Wow. Uh, second, Scott Lang is Ant Man. Marvel Premiere 48. 30 bucks. Get him ride that ant. Uh, calling for an Iron Mighty Mouse number one. Yeah, no. I thought this was the affordable launch. Yeah. Um, Mighty Mouse number one, newsstand, twenty five bucks. Mighty Mouse. We got uh, for an auction there, good buddy. All right, let me just show this one here. Go uh, suspend seventy two, forty bucks. All right, auction. Give me a. $35 start. $35 All right. Uh, this is a lot. For those of you that like music, I think you'll, you'll appreciate these. So we've got Rock and Roll Comics Motley Crew. The Motley. The, the Motley. You get Frank Zappa. Don't eat that yellow snow, y'all. Bon Jovi. And this is the money book. The money shot. <laughs> but Personality Comics presents Music Comics number one, Nirvana. First Nirvana in comics. Wow. Wow. What, what is this book? All proceeds go to Jennifer Love. Jennifer Love. Who? Courtney Love. Oh. Jennifer Love. Like, that's the wrong love. She's the one that got all her, uh, got all the rights to his stuff. And then the Ross over all that. Mm -hmm. Dan Castro, 35. 
And I've never seen this Nirvana book before. No, I thought no, it's, it's a ghost. It's a ghost book. Personality yeah. Comics presents the cult of personality. <laughs> Nirvana smells like teen spirit. I wonder what this would have cost if it was signed by Cobain. See, if you can get one of these that was signed by Cobain, you can then go now and get it verified. Blank check for that book. But I think this came after after Cobain's death. Yeah. Um, but you can get Dave Grohl and Chris and the Sellers. Really nice book. Yeah. Then you got Bon Jovi. Does not look like him. <laughs> Molly, Molly Crew. Frank Zappa. Watch out where them puskies go. Don't eat the yellow snow. Anybody grow up with Nirvana? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. They were huge back then. Oh, yeah. Then. Massive. MT, you did too, right? You're the same. Oh, person. absolutely. Yeah. I remember the day he died. Well, Me too, man. About. It's like a Friday afternoon. It came on MTV News. Yeah. Jeez, I'm yeah, baby. Tap it in. I'm pull out an Elgato, Paul. An Elgato? An Elgato. Uh oh. Mr. Roboto. Be careful, guys. He's got an Elgato book. I also have a Mark Jeweler variant of Secret Wars number eight. Oh. You can do that. Okay. There's Kurt, Dave, Chris. It's a great cover, too. I told you, no Nirvana fans out there. Oh, is that where you grew up on, Bob? <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's after that Bon Jovi. Well, oh, that's right. The, the freaking Motley Cruz in this. The Motley. The old Motley. Motley crew. There you go. So my math teacher in college was the brother of the lead guitars. The brother of the lead guitars. Hmm. We used to hear all the inside baseball on Motley. It was the same year that uh, they released uh, their comeback song. <laughs> On the charts, that is the right stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, a minute left. A minute left. Anybody minute else left. Want to get in on this one? Anybody else want to get in to win? Got to be in it to win it, gang. Got to be in it to win. Yeah, so there was one of these going for like 80 bucks, it would, um, and not in as good shape as this one. So, let's get the money book. My libido, a mosquito. <laughs> also got waffle, guys. Close it out. This is an unplugged block here, getting. Yeah, I figured I'd put up something interesting. Let me get yeah. to see very much. You're not gonna yeah. see that. I've never seen that comic. After what we I, saw, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know it existed. Looks like Daniel's gonna get our troll fires in. Troll fire says I'm in. All right, troll fire. We'll put us into overtime. Put us into overtime here. Go to the heavens where the angels fly. Oh. <laughs> Go to the lake of fire and fry. Something about the 4th of July. Where's Jackal? We need him to sing one of these songs. Frank Zappa no. Come on, gang. No, we don't. <laughs> 37. Oh, 
Bull Fires Band, Good. a little grunge action, some Seattle grunge. I think you can say anything, Barb, and put anyone to bed. Not with the Motley on the screen. That's right, Noah. I wonder, Noah, where do you live? Noah? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone here from the Seattle area? You can't be Washington tethered. State. Can't be tethered to one place. International man of mystery. Hmm. All right, guys. That was the uh, timer. Fair warning on the end line. Fair warning on the end line. End line coming down. Not all of those who wander. All right. Go Flyers. You got it. Thank you, my friend. From Nirvana Fire. Good picture. Yeah, great pickup. Cool, cool lot. Certainly interesting. All right, let's see how Paul Comics intends to beat that. Yeah, beat that. Oh, oh, man. Man. Wow. Oh, that man. Paul Comics. In, in harsh in here. All right. So, like I said, guys, I have seven left. 25 a spot. First appearance of Spider Gwen, first print. Like I said, I think it's a crack to resubmit. But yeah, I get this for 25. You're winning. So, uh, seven left. Okay. I got too much left. Yeah, Bree Place did. You said that Mike Slaughter completed his transaction because we didn't uh, bother to welcome yes. him to the family. Yeah, yes. You're still did, watching, yeah. Mike Slaughter. Welcome to the family, buddy. Appreciate the, uh, the payment on that uh, spawn line. Star Wars High Republic Adventures number four. 20 on that. I said I got the ASM 53, 1 in 10, not miles. 20 on that one. Make sure you guys are getting your uh, wins in the private. Batman uh, 693, signed by Tony Daniels. Doing uh, 20 on that. This is a nice one. This is Iron Man uh, 302, where he battles Venom Newsstand. Doing 20 on that one. Got a one in 25 X lives of Wolverine number one, one in 25, 25 on that. Got the Batman 181 trade. Got the nice Silver Age Batman logo. Uh, 25 on that one. First cameo of the Midnight Sun still sealed. 25 on that. Uh, Avengers at JLA number four. George Perez. When are you ever going to see Superman doing that again? Uh, 30. Wrap around cover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New Agents of Atlas number two. First appearance of Swordmaster. Later becomes Iron Fist. Uh, 35 on this one. Annihilation Conquest, number six. First appearance of the new Guardians of the Galaxy. 50 on this one. Killer book. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Tomb of Dracula, number two. Second Dracula, Jerry Conway, Gene Colan. 60 on this one. Got Wonder Woman 184. Beautiful, iconic uh, Adam Hughes cover. Got the Golden Age with the modern uh, 75 on this one. I got another Adam Hughes, but this is the New York Comic Con. Limited to 500 copies. Foil. Number 51. Uh, 90 on this one. Give me a ten dollar starting bid, good sir. Let's see. Got that one on 
in before. All right, ten dollar start. Fair and as for these, I have Ultimate Spider Man number one, third print. Oh, yeah. And uh, number two, the design second printing with the uh, Green Goblin. I think it's Harry. What, he's Harry and he's green? Green and Harry? Green, Harry, Osborne. Yep. And I can add some more books in. Oh, he's in. And then TP wants the uh, Batman bath. Batman both? Yeah. Sorry about that, T-Pain. Somebody. No, nope. he wants the Batman bath. The bath water. They sell it by the cup. I ain't got no bath water. What the hell oh. are you talking about? Oh. This one. Oh, okay. Tony Daniels and the uh, 181. Uh, great pickup, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Farron's in. Come on, I keep holding them books up. Don't yeah. get weak on them. Oh, sorry. So if we get to 35, I'll throw in this one. This is Ultimate X Men number one, the one in 10 design. Momoko variant, if you want. Yeah, I mean, really, guys, you want to read, you want a good read. If you like reading comics, man, read that Annihilation Wave. The Annihilation Wave, Annihilation Conquest. Such a good, good, good story. I'll tell you why you need to get in on Spider Flint's Waffle for the first appearance of the Nihilus. In the Cosmic Rod. So you get uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number one, third print, and the uh, second printing design variant. And like I said, 35, you can bring in this one, the one in 10 design from Peach Momoko. She has all her little, what this character was going to be like. Whoa, damn. Woo! Woo! Holy! Oh, Aaron! Wow! Don't do it! Don't do it! Damn! Don't Let's do see. it! God damn, Farron! You know what? <laughs> you better give him one for free for all that. Farron is dropping a dime. God damn, Farron! You you weren't lying, man. God. All right, I'm gonna run it tonight. Once Baron sends me the money in. Wow. You know what? All right, we'll keep holding them books up. Got me. Come on now. You're getting all gotcha. shaky. Gotcha. I'm you know what I'm throwing this one into in the lot. Good. Ultimate Black Panther number one second printing. I would hope so. Yeah, I'm throwing that one in. That's in at 10. Good. All right, guys. A minute left on the clock. A minute left on the clock. And I'll run it tonight. That's it. All of them are done. Wow. So you get third print. Ultimate Spider Man third print. You get um, Ultimate Black Panther number one, second print. These have sold out. I haven't seen these. And this is the cool one Ultimate Spider Man number two, the design second print. So you get all the characters that have been in there. Yeah, wow. Thank you, Farring.
All right, well, this is going right there. And if I don't get an $11 bid here, real quick, like, real quick, like, all right, fair warning on the end line, fair warning on the end line, and lock them down. Thank you, Farron. Appreciate it, buddy. And like I said, at the end of the night, I will run the waffle. See who wins. Appreciate it, Aaron. Thank you, T Pain. And I'll put all the wins in there. Oh, yeah, dude. I'll turn. Yep, yeah, are you uh, good? All right. Hmm? You good to go? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna write all that stuff. But I'll do you around and then I'll write it in there for you. Okay. All right, let me do that. All right, thank you, Farron. Thank you, T Pain. And we're going to MT. Wow. Oh, I got turn my. Yeah, turn it on. But... All right. Um. Wow. What are I do with my mom? Yep, here is the uh, Astonishing X-Men books I was talking about earlier. If anybody's interested in those, all three for 30. Uh, that's all yeah, the big three keys from that run. I can't remember what the what these all were, right? You had a cameo, it, uh, the uh, first pull. Isn't that something with the, the thing, too? The space sword? Or, yeah, sword, sword. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Agent one Brand. Yep, yeah, that's it. I paid wow. almost 20 bucks for that. All right. Um, I got a waffle here. Waffle, you're going to get both 9.2 slabs. I would definitely resubmit this one. Um, at any rate, they both got cover art on the backs, too. Oh, man. $10 entries on that one. Um, I got a Space Ghost number one, the Alex Ross gorgeous book, candidate copy, gorgeous book, Space Ghost number one, Alex Ross, twenty bucks on that. All right, so I don't have uh, the Dave Stevens anymore, but I do have a Dave Stevens lot here. Okay. But not all of these are Dave Stevens. This is Xena, the Warrior Princess, the first issue ever of Tops. And then you're going to get both covers of issue number one from Bloodlines. They all have the posters in them. And then you're going to get both issue, both covers of issue number two, and that is the Dave Stevens. That's a Dave Stevens cover. So it's five books. Five books. I'll do uh, this. This one actually sells for decent money. Um, on top of that, the flotation device, hot tub scenes. I'll do all. Uh, yeah, because there's, because it's got issue number one in here too. I'll do them all for fifty bucks. They're all candidate copies, all high grade copies. I just bought a bunch of copies of this here recently. Um, so there's your Dave Stevens. Uh, and in lieu of not having a Dave Stevens, I'm going to show you one of the all time greatest comic book covers ever. The Addy Granov white suit variant from Black Widow Deadly Origins. Easily. Uh, certainly my favorite female Addie Granoff cover of all time. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. She had a black suit, and this is the white suit. I think it's a 1 in 25 or 1 in 15 variant. Um, I'll go... Uh, uh, I'll go 20 bucks on it um, as a concession on the not showing this Stevens a lot. 
but uh, all-time favorite. All-time favorite. All right. What I got left? 48 seconds? Yeah. I want to bid on a Wolverine or X-Men or ASM. There you go. You can give me a thousand dollars starting bid there, buddy. God. Um, Look at that. Oh, Such a team. Such a team. Pulling on the strings, buddy. Pulling on the strings. Such a team. Um, team huh? All right. All right. We'll see how bad this is going to get. What's the starting bid, good buddy? One dollar. All right. One dollar. Oh, boy. One dollar, and we'll see how bad of a bath I take up. <sighs> like a Batman. That ties in already. Retire ain't even show the book yet. He, he knows he <laughs> For a dollar, eh? What's he got to lose? It's like, what a dollar. Farron John's asking about your Spide X Men one behind Spider Boy. Mm. Mm. All right, who's ever in the league can have to see it. Maybe we'll play that game. Um, this is a candidate, a candidate copy of this beautiful, beautiful copy of x-men adventures right uh, right one too. more dollar Pop, throw it on oh okay one of the all-time great wolverine covers you said ben x-men homage to uh the twins with Danny DeVito and the Governor. Hey, where's the hammer, Paul? This Bam. is a high grade copy. High grade copy. Thirty five, really? God, we better get a lot more than thirty five. Well, what I'm saying, what are you talking about, Spider Flint? Well, you we jump from seven to thirty five. Well, that ain't no hammer to me, Spider Flint. No. Uh, yeah, Buffon did it too, so that ain't on even the back a... cover. That's how you can okay. tell if it's a newsstand. Um, Buffon's not allowed to bid on this book. Okay, no. okay. Okay. Yep. You got the great life belt art that they wow. stole from the movie where, like, somehow Wolverine got taken down by six arrows. <laughs> Was it Wolverine's that? origin or something like that? His feet look pretty good, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he he had did practice. Look good. I love this cover. Like this cover, I can see across the convention hall on a board. Yep. yep. Like you know this book from across the room, and if it's a high grade copy, I'm I'm usually buying it. This is one of my all time favorites. They're going to every every girl's crazy about a sharp dressed man. Sharp dressed man. We're we're not even uh, we're not even top. half of what I paid for this. Not even close. Beautiful high grade copy. Um, I can throw in the first cover appearance of Hugh Jackman. Wow. I'm running it tonight. This is a uh, a Toys R Us exclusive. You could only buy this at Toys R Us. The silver hall, silver foil. 20th Century Fox first cover appearance of Hugh Jackman. All right, we got two minutes left, guys. Let's see. Brufon folded. Uh, Spider Flynn. I think he's out of his budget. Wolverado, come on now, Wolverado. You know you ain't got a loan. Yeah, but Farron's in the lead, my buddy Farron. Farron. That's right. I'm going to bid on my own book. <laughs> no, you can't do that, sir. We don't do that here, sir. <laughs> All right, guys. We got a minute 35. We'll be in overtime. We still got Brufon in. We got Amazing Spider Flynn in at three bucks. No way. Let's see who like, came with these are Newsies are hard to get to this. I've actually, I think I've only ever owned one newsstand. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> I saw what copies of this were selling for this uh, one. Hey, well, Rado, we can combine forces. Put it 43 down. And I thought this would have been a good book. Well, Rado, you ain't got, you ain't got no credit over here, buddy. Oh, 
He's at 43. Uh-oh. Oh! Now that's... Ah, that... I'll throw that was in. I'll throw in uh, issue number right. seven, Panic at the Disco. Nice. He's got the sun's out, guns out. Any on? Yeah. That's Patch and, uh, and my buddy, you know? Wow. 55. Here we go. Now we got... Yeah. Oh, here we go. Brie plays is in. There we go. <laughs> Paul. I should also say this one does not have the uh some of these have, have brick banners on the cover. They have white spots on the cover. Here this one we go, have, guys. Uh, no white spots on this cover. If y'all didn't know, they were undercover right there, guys. I'm also gonna throw in issue number seven. Panic at the disco. You know what's funny? I think number eight is actually the most expensive book in that whole Wolverine series two. Number, well, number one is actually holding it. Well, I mean, number one gives it a run for its money, but they're about even money. Yeah, yeah I mean, I I think eight eight is the most expensive book in that run. All right, overtime shot clock. Here we go, guys. Okay, okay now we came at, in. Uh, at ninety, I'll throw in this. Oh, two two two. Second appearance of uh, Mr. Sinister, right? Classic battle of Wolverine and. Is it? Are you in at eighty-eight there, Wolverado? I think he's talking about Sinister Wolverine Lord. eighty-eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I eighty-eight isn't as much as is this one. What's the cover on eighty-eight? That's the first. Um, he's. I think he's actually talking about Marvel Comics Presents. 88 because i don't remember what 88 is i thought i first thought he was saying uh because i know what there's old man logan that's wolverine 66 right from his other run yeah but that was like volume three or mm. whatever but even that's not even worth close to this you can buy a whole set of those for Hold on, let me check here let me check let me check oh he said oh he said the wolverine 88 with deadpool on the cover yeah 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 oh yeah Duh. yeah yeah all right all right, in line coming down, guys. In line coming down. All right, well, let me know. For 10 more bucks, I'll throw in the Sylvester. In line coming down, guys. I just love that. Wow. Uh, the rap, the double artwork on a lot of these books from this era. Oh, Okinawa said 90. Here we yeah. go. Resets the timer. Wow, you beat the in line. Let's see what we got right here. We got 90. Wow. Well, yeah, he was upping his own bid. Yeah. Well, I said you could get add all the on. books. Yeah. Get out on yeah, he, he added more books. Huh? Yeah. You're st well, well, Rado folded. I figured that, Well, Rado. He didn't have to do that. I already knew that. He did the gold fold. He did Look, the special. Spider Flynn folded. He's just talking. He folded. Did I, right. did I? No, I can throw in 91. No, you ain't, ain't going to throw in 91. I can tell you that I paid more than $90 for this. Guy. Let's see. Bruce Lyon folded a long time ago. Riptide, you folded a long time ago. Alright. What's the Nabisco mail-in? Oh, he's talking about that Nabisco, the one with the, like, his skull showing. The skull. His whole, like, body's Skeleton body in the Bisco one that's pretty expensive, yeah. That's an expensive book. Well, that's like the, yeah, go MT, ahead. Is number eight. Are you saying that's a candidate? All right, in line coming down, guys. In line coming down. Is that a yes? <laughs> I just small. Is that a yes? Did I say yes. Okay, all right, in line coming down, guys. Yeah, I, yeah, I see. All right. It doesn't have any white spots on the cover. I mean, that's the one thing they ding you on is is the is the printing error. Um, I mean, the, the, the corners aren't perfect. All but right. That get okay, you. now with Jarhead is the winner. Yeah, I was just asking. Is, you know, they're the just sl slightly, slightly. They're not like perfectly sharp, but you know, that's still. You okay, now with Jarhead's the winner. That. Yeah, I wasn't questioning you. I was just because of the price. That's all. Yes, he was. He was questioning. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's a nine. It's a nine six nine eight candidate. Um, yeah, I mean this went a lot cheaper than I thought it 
But that's all right. It's all good. Thank you, Okinawa. Thank you, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, you got all three copies here. A fear mail away giveaway. Wolverine 145 Nabisco variant. Interesting. I'll have to check that one out. Because like when you said his like skeleton was exposed, I was thinking about the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy one when Dr. Doom takes over his body. They just show his skeleton and the knives. All right. Well, uh, tune in next week, gang, when I put together a price variant lot. They're all raw. But I actually... This is my last round. I got to get out of here. I got a project due in the morning and I got to get working on it. You know, uh, I'm going to do the thing. You're going to do the race? Yeah, go ahead and do, uh, do our All right. promo. And Make I'll, sure you uh, watch out for this guy. Watch out for this guy. Hey, don't do that, Dan. Who did you have? Uh, what did you have on yours? Farron times four or five? No, I had uh, Farron times seven and then Farron and then T Pain times two. I should have put fair in times eight. Two, three. All right. So, y'all watch out for this guy. Watch it. Watch it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Y'all give us a follow. Get, get us to 100 followers, guys, on the Facebook page or Instagram, I believe. He said he was going to do a first appearance slab giveaway, guys. So, please go give us a follow. On the Strictly Comics group. And uh, check out the Madhouse on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Great bunch of guys over there. Uh, great, great, uh, great host, Helvetica, who I said many, many times that I am the greatest host ever. Thank you, buddy. It's hard to be a great host, you know, because you have to put up with these amateur panel members on here and then it takes a toll on you guys but i appreciate you guys always messaging me and checking up on me i really appreciate it, it means a lot and uh let's see what else we got right here we got uh a pop-up coming up on the 30th always have a great time on there great books uh we even have a uh, comic champ gonna be there me probably have dapper dan on there I have a few more guys on there, so uh, y'all check it out on the 30th. Come all the Jim Lee books. Oh, all Jim Lee theme books. All Jim Lee. All, all right. And uh, yeah, so. In, wait, a minute, wait a minute. In, what is Liz saying here? You got my spots on the waffle? What? what? Must be one she bought previously, maybe? Uh. Yeah, she, she already she's already on there. She good. So yeah, so MT stepped away, guys. So we got the date for the new vintage auction coming up. Great, great uh turnout on the two, but this one will be on the sixth of April. Y'all tune in on there. Great bronze, silver. We go platinum. Sometimes we even go pulp. So y'all check it out. And then the well show on the twentieth. I know. He, he likes to upset Liz. That is not true. I didn't, I didn't forget Liz. So y'all right. tune in. I got a Jack B, a Bree Play, a Mike Slaughter, two Jar Heads, uh, a bunch of Farron John, two T Pains. And did we resolve this, Liz? Yeah, Miss Liz is good. Okay. No. Uh, All right. Have... Speak now or forever. Hold your pieces. We're going to do a boat race up in here. All right, 45, 45 seconds, set it and forget it. Once, twice, three times a lady. Good luck, everybody. Well, we didn't put tro profiles down on there. If I have to retype these, I'm like, full fire was not in the private chat. Yeah, it was. Okay. Maybe he wasn't. It was only 12 minutes ago. How was I supposed to see it 12 minutes ago?
Don't worry, everyone. You're all winners. You're all winners in my book. Once, twice, three times a lady. Good luck. Speedboat. Look at us now, Howie. When you go, Spider Flint. Oh. Well, I don't hear anything. Music. <laughs> Were you just farting, Spider Flint? Was that a fart? Oh, that, that was a, that was a, was a no, spider that was the fart. Speed boat, man. That was a spider fart. That was I'm a spider here boat. in the ocean. Motor boat. Jack B, what are you doing, man? <laughs> He's running out of fuel. Jack B, hit the NOS! Hit the NOS! Oh, Farron's making a play in the middle. Oh, the 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 bottom. There's no way. No. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Wow. Hey. Wow. There's your NOS. Uh, look at the um, neck broken everything. Numero Cinco. You give him something. Show him what he like won. Show him what he won. Jim Lee Jim Wowzer. Goodness. Wowzer. Yeah, the Smithsonian called about that book, but we're going to give it away anyway. And look, a direct. Just hit me up on the Insta. Por favor. How many likes are we at? A lot. Did we get there yet? Probably not. No. no. All right. Well, message me if you break the hundred likes, Paul. I'll do a giveaway. Um, Seventy-one. But I gotta go, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good thanks, MT. All right. Thanks. Good MT. evening. Thanks. Good morning. Adios. It's all you, Paul. You got it. Yeah, I got it. All right, uh, so three plays. That was uh, now. This is the pop up tech. Uh, so this is a uh, spider. F no, spider. Spider Flint. It's your turn, right, Spider Flint? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? You got a giveaway for round. Yeah, the four? giveaway. That's what I'm talking about. You, you it's your That's turn, right, Spider Flint? No, I went first. That's, That's me. It's my, it's my turn. Oh, no. oh, it's your turn. All right, go ahead, uh, Flint. It's a uh, waffle spot. Waffle. <laughs> Nope. Where are you at, man? God. Oh, right there. It's a waffle spot on the Alpha Flight. Yes. On the. What about if they want it on the moon? They gotta buy no, that's still, you gotta buy something for that. Oh, okay. but for this. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. So okay, here we go. All right, I think we got. It. All right, I think. Uh, all right. So that means. What round are we at? But Spider put the round on there in the private chat. God oh, help please. us. Why are we here? We got that wasn't supposed. Wow, All right, anyway, so we're going to what's the first one. Replays, right? Replays, you're up, right? No, I'm yeah. first. Spider Flint. I got to check Spider out. Spider Flint first. I All see right. the iceberg from here. All you right, guys put, the, put the round thing in there, Spider Flint. All right, here you go, Spider Flint. Yeah. <laughs> All right, people, we got a waffle here. Get All right, the, number's going. You buy some spots here. You get three. Oh, no, you buy three spots. Better. You get a freebie. Get that glare off there. This is a king size special number six. Oh, I say number six. five. Nineteen sixty-eight. Is that an annual or king size special? It's a king size special. So we went through this. They put, but see at the title they put annual. Yeah, that's wrong. But uh, so you got first Annihilus and you first baby Franklin Richards. You get an error slab. See when Franklin Richards comes out, he's going to be in the movies, then you're going to be ahead of the game. Sounds far from. You know, yeah. I'm just thinking for holding, just help, helping out you guys. Yeah, All right, uh, I got some leftovers here. I do six dollars for f four Supergirl first action comics cover. Action comics number one homage. These are all VF copies. This one's got like a spine roll there at the top. I don't know what happened. Of course, Doomsday. You do know what happened. Just don't want to stand. Missed. Near Mint Minus, uh, Action Comics, uh, 662. Lois Lane finally takes his glasses off and figures out that Clark Kent is Sp Superman. Almost said Spider-Man. Superman is dead. <laughs> Superman is dead. <laughs> I've got $20 on Major X, 0 through 6. These are all near mint copies. Look at that wonderful Liefeld. He's got some feet. Liefeld. Feet. 
They're one dimensional feet, but yeah, they're there. All right, we got three minutes left. Um, all right, toes not included. Right. Now he's poking. What if Venom number two? Venom he's possesses no, Wolverine. God, life all sucks. <laughs> Thanks for your help there, Barb. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, Scotty Young. <laughs> Got a near mint minus Virgin Spider Gwen, David Nakayama. Oh, shit. Nakayama. Got a uh, Virgin Psylocke Nakayama cover. Hellions 10. The writing's on the bag, not on the book. Oh, and a nice, lovely Rose Besh. Rose Besh? Rose Besh, yeah. Rose, Rose Besh. Yeah. Rose sorry, not sorry. And we got Ultimate X Men Mark Brooks variant and the Peach Momoko A cover. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a 20th anniversary, Fantastic Four, 236. Yeah, 236. Extra yeah. special, the, the retelling of Fantastic Four number five, first uh, Doctor Doom, a 6% direct copy. Um, ooh, Transformers 12, near mint, $8. Oh, 12, Spider-Flint. Oh. Yes. What else I got? Oh yeah, I was gonna show this because uh, we we're talking. We we're trying to figure out what the hell was Wolverine '88. It was that one. Yeah. Oh, the newsstand. Maybe. You have the the deluxe. We'll save that. Uh, and I, I had a deluxe. That mm -hmm. was a nine eight. This one. Yeah, this is a newsy. Yeah. What grade you got on that? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Put it up for a hundred dollars. Let's go. Right. Nobody wants that for a hundred. Or a starting bid. Come on. Uh, I got I got low stuff, affordable stuff to bid to start off with. I need oh. you for that auction, but your banner isn't running. I know, man. I think we had a professional run in this show, but... Who said that? Hey, well, watch it, replays. <laughs> that was America who said that. Watch it, replays. No, look. All right, people. Like, you're not Go buying any of these buy it now. I'm about to do like buy one, get one free, you know? Is it? Right. So if they buy week. the $5 one, they get the 21 for free? No. <laughs> well, uh, we'll do that next week. Maybe. <laughs> Why don't we do it this week? <laughs> what I got? Thirty yeah. seconds. All right, everything's now two for one. <laughs> uh, ASM ten reprint, Marvel Tales, a nice high grade newsy X Factor border, twentieth anniversary border, six dollars, and a Avengers two seventy three border. Five dollars. Yeah. The Transformers could change into any machine. Why didn't Megatron just make himself like an Optimus Prem? Sneaking. You think too much, Barb. Barb, you think too much. Barb. All right. All right. All right. That was it, Spider Flynn. What, what, uh, what's the uh, auction? Auction. Spider auction. Oh, yeah, I got these books behind me too. So if you're interested in those, um, I'm gonna do a just a. Uh, it'll be another builder. We'll what start at uh, two bucks. Two dollars builder. Two All bucks, right. Chuck. Two bucks. Two dollars. <laughs> Fair enough. Hundred dollars, Chuck. All right. And these are new stands. This is uh, Disney's Aladdin. Here's Genie number five. What? Look at that. Great Genie cover. Wow. Two dollars. Just going to embarrass me like that, Spider Man. Every two dollars, I'll bring in another book. I got Donald and Mickey. Look at him; he's painting a little uh, mustaches on Donald. Mm -hmm. Another high-grade newsstand. I got Mickey Mouse Adventures. Look at him in space. Wow! And that is not goofy. That is, what does it say there? Captain Doberman. Mm. It's Doberman in that other space suit. Harper, you know I'm I'm running the show right now, right? What are you running? You sure? Is this embarrassing me like that? Buddy? Yep. The asylum's taking over. I got a near mint Disney comic hits number five Toy Story. So, that's so every that. two bucks eight brings dollars. them in? Yeah, every two dollars brings in another one. So that's four yeah. books. That's eight dollars. Wow. Got a Disney comics and stories right. number 570. Whoa. 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 
Number 570, a Valentine's special. Donald no, chasing that get a little heart. Yeah, Ooh, right. You remember that one? Everybody says Spider-Flynn. I ain't going. I ain't going. Uh, another is Disney cool. comic hit. Number one, Pocahontas. Untold. Oh, new story. You everybody says Spider-Flynn. You're going to make me buy, like, the first eight books to get to that book? Yep. <laughs> That's all part of, oh, of oh, evil. Part of your plan to just take me out. That You're doing a, good, mijo. This one's a near mint, man. That, one, that one's high grade. Wow. So we'll, we'll talk later because nobody's buying these. So, And then look at this one. What's, yeah, now you yeah, just got somebody to buy them. Adventures number nine. Fantasia. This one I got like a VF copy because there's a little bit of spotting there and also on the back. Fantasia spotting. Huh? But uh, yeah, I mean that spine is fine. Fine and spine. Yeah. So I mean I got three, four, seven books. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, seven books. Fourteen. We're going backwards here. You got Valentine's, The Toy Story, Mickey Mouse Space Adventure, Donald and Mickey, Aladdin. Well, this may have mayhem. That oh, well. <laughs> That's fine. Like, I'm here for your amusement. Maybe if you do this as a winner's choice. You want to do a winner's choice? Can we change it, Paul? Is that too much to ask? Hopefully, we can't change it. Damn. Uh, all right. Well, the process goes. Yeah. Right, well, you can do whatever you put your mind to it. It's your night. I guess. should have thought of that yeah. in the beginning, Spider Flynn. I've been telling you, you should be thinking about this, Spider Liz, Flynn. Liz, I thought you liked Disney. You should be bidding, Liz. You know, I'll give him no, a call. Just... We get free shipping. <laughs> Why are you going to give them to me? <laughs> yeah, because you're the only one that ships to her. So, well, I don't know where she not stays. Not everybody is a, is a is it... less desire. I ship from stuff to her, too, Spider Flynn. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I don't here. Or we can do a winner's choice. I give What's you wrong? Wrong? for all of you run the hundred dollar start for the remaining lot. Ooh, now I'll do that. What? Give you fourteen for all if we can run a hundred dollar start for the remaining. For the time. next. What, what do you say, Spider Flint? What's he talking about? I don't understand. He's talking about he's gonna buy that and then put up the damn eighty-eight. That's what he's talking about. You want me to tell you? You didn't even see it. it. All I did was flash it. I'll tell you in plain English. Well, Flint. you need to stop flashing things. Sorry, bro. All right, so <laughs> yeah, let's keep it like the books <laughs> PG. Yeah, one thing at a time. All right, so at at a hundred, we'll throw in Wolverine. <laughs> you get all the Disney. Minus the number one because Brufant needs that one. Okay, so we'll do it at a hundred. You get all those, but Farron will take them. So this uh, Wolverine, this is a new stand. Uh, I've got it like a near mint minus. So this cover. Wait, wait, wait a minute now. So Bob, well, I got so many accounts from you. I don't know who who I'm responding. Yeah, two spine ticks there uh -huh. that are color breaking, but. That's it. The other issue. So this is going to be at, uh, all in, or are yeah, you just going to open that by itself? At a hundred, we'll we'll do all in. And we'll figure all out. in what, at a hundred, guys. All that yeah, come in. What so, is the theme of this lot? <laughs> the theme is this is a S show. S show. So oh, Baron Jones in at a hundred. Baron's in, in. God. So it does have a pressable press little crease there, and then the problem is with this one, you've got an insert. Oh and, yeah, 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 and it see there's an impression around that insert. So just why don't you remove the insert? Just remove the insert. Yeah, remove the insert. So there's the insert in the front, and then, okay, no. then it's a Spider-Man <laughs> mail-in card. Ah, sorry, on the back. <laughs> So mm -hmm. here's the back. And then Raw is War, right, Spider Flint? Yeah, whatever. But you yeah. like WCW, right, Spider Flint? You didn't like it. I don't even Raw. know what that is, man. Uh, he was just a TNA fan. And I have no idea what that is. <laughs> yeah, God, I know man. what TNA, but I don't. I think you're talking about wrestling. Oh, Liz, said, Liz is upset because you sold the Wolverine with the Disney stuff. <laughs> you knew that she wanted that. 
You're she didn't bid, so whatever. Man. She got a bid to, to let me know. I don't, you know, I can't read minds. So there it is. So yeah, like I said, you can see a little bit of an impression. The top it is a new that, stand, that guys. It's not the deluxe one, but yeah, yeah, it's still a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think what no, that's hurting. Adam Hubert's coming to Fan uh, Expo. I don't think Andy. Is that, so that Farron part? seems like a nice guy. So maybe you know he'll let you have a Disney book. I don't know. I'll, I'll talk to him about uh about your number one issue there. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I I, I let it go to the chat. Yeah. Chat takes priority. Oh, you do, Spider Flynn. You take people's hearts away from you know. You make them upset, Spider Flynn. Even though we had a deal. Mm hmm. We had a deal. Yeah. Nobody was bidding. We had a deal, and you reneged on it. That's fine. That's what he does. He, he, sell this book. he takes no you to the right he takes you to the pizza to the pizza no. restaurant and don't let you get salad. You know that's how he is. Don't worry, Spider. You got my heart. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! You have this. Oh man. In line coming down, guys. In line coming yes. down. A bunch of Disney characters are going to be in Deadpool 3 with Wolverine. So. Yeah, I see. Uh... So next week I have this one to show. Oh, that's a new stage. Oh. Oh, Let's man. preview right. for next week. So nothing else. All right, well, that was it. Spider well, uh, well, it's good. If you, if you go for 30 bucks more, you put that in. We'll see what happens. Uh, nothing's going to happen because... For thirty bucks, man. Come on, man. thirty bucks. Wow, he tried to get you like that. Fine, fine. All right, well, Farron's the winner, so you can. Thank you, Farron. Um, you made Liz upset. Yep, on the, so, on the IG, yeah. and I'll figure out what to do with these Disney books. I know you said give them to Liz, but I Liz, Brufron really wants this number you, one because he likes the number one. No, he so. says, Liz, if you win, you can have the Disney. St oh, if I, oh, what? Yeah, he wow. said he, he'd give them to her. So, what? Are you kidding me? That means you know I can give them to Paul to mail to you. So that that's, not what, that's not what. Uh, that's how it works. No, don't volunteer me, Spider Flint. All right, mail Thank everything you. to her. Yeah, we're going to replays. Hey, Paul. Hey guys. Great, great guy right here. Except the hat. Hey, uh, okay. sorry. Got to, don't start his timer yet, Paul. I got a, I got a jet, so I'm gonna put my uh, waffle. Uh, Names and but you can't uh, leave while your waffle is being run. This one, I gotta get this one off. What, 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 Actually, Sputterflint, I have a question what, for you. Yes, sir. What do I owe you? Seventy plus shipping. Yeah. The yeah. The yeah I'll, I'll uh send you an IM. Yeah, just send it to group Send it to group <laughs> No. Um. I don't know if we've contacted each other on IG or not. Did you? I... Actually, guys, you know what? I started to get, finish your thing, but I started a new IG. I just wanted to announce that. So yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Tell, yeah. Him, yeah. tell him to pay you now since you've been working with him. Greatest fan. Is that what that is? I think it's what it's called. Bree Hall 25. Uh, so, yeah, Paul, I need you to. I'll put them All in right, the well, chat. You can run this one for me. What? But you got to be present. What? This is a waffle I had in the first round. It already sold out. All right. Well, you know what? Message me on IG with names so that way I can put it. Because I got to run mine and yours. Okay. And, uh, and you have to be present, win, Spider Flint. You if you win in the private chat, Spider Flint. It's, it's like midnight, man. I'm going to bed. No, but you got to see the prize. Going over. I got to get up in the morning. Wow. They can see it. It's All right. It's Thank 8. you, Spider Flint. Make sure you message me on there and put your wins in the private chat. All right. Uh, replays is up. Have one That's Spider number one fan. Spider Flynn, I just paid you on PayPal. Just so you know. All right. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Is this the last round? It could um, be. Probably. I mean, if you want, if, if we do, then it might it might be the last round if y'all want. It, it is for me. Oh, it is for me. Let's, let's give this a shot. Let's see how this goes. I'm uh, what's the, you don't have no buy now, sir? No. No buy now. He's, done. He's doing story. auctions all night. We're just gonna start this at uh, a dollar. Uh, I'll start this at ten ten dollars. All right, no. ten dollars. Here we go. No. 
Oh. All right, so this is, signed, this is signed by Kirkman. Oh. Uh, oh, collector. Wow. New York City, 10th anniversary, Comic Con. Wow. Got 104. You know, those, those, those kind of books, those signed books now, raw books went up in value now. Now that you can CGC, you know? I, yeah, and I follow Walking Dead. So starting $10 bid, man. So, I mean, I have a lot of Walking Dead to sell, so I want to see how this goes. Uh, all seven. Just the one was signed? Just the one. Just, just, yeah. yeah okay. Just the first book. Wow. First Ezekiel. And this is as near mint. I mean, this is near mint. Jets can't hear you, so your mic must be. You put your little... microphone closer to your mouth, maybe? Or... God damn. I, or is... I... Oh, Jesus. I could turn. Uh, can you hear me better now? I, I can hear you. Okay. 110. I'll give you the total count when I'm done showing them. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, man. 112. I and mean, these are all near mint. This is the second print. Of the death of Rick, Dry Rick Grimes, not the first print. Yeah. Turn your volume up, Jets. What's that? <laughs> no, I'm talking to Jets. He's saying it's still low. I'm like, turn your oh. turn your volume up. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the final issue. I, square bound. Absolutely nine point eight. So this is going to start at ten bucks. Um, I got two, four, six, seven books. One signed by Kirkman. That's a Comic-Con, New York City Comic-Con exclusive. Signed by Kirkman. $10 um, starting line. All right. $10. Time for going, guys. Walking Dead a lot. All of them are in at 10 bucks. And I just turned my mic up, so hopefully that helps. Yeah, you, you can hear you a lot better now. But I mean, you can see that SIG right there. All of them are in at 10 bucks. Ten bucks, man. All Ten right. bucks. So there it is. There's number one. New York City 2013. Signed by Kirkman. 104. These are all near mint. 107. First Ezekiel 108. This is absolutely a 9-8. I'll, I'll guarantee it's a 9-8. If you guys know what these books go for, then then you know. 110. 112. And these are all cover A's except for this book here. This is the second print. And this book is shockingly worth a lot more than I thought it was. This is this is a 9-8. There, there's no doubt about it. That's nine, the first eight. print. It's the first print, square bound. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. One of my favorite covers too of the whole run. I don't I very simplistic. Great read yeah. too. Yeah, like I this really whole like that final issue. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, man, this whole run. I mean, you want to talk about modern comics sucking, not this one. I mean, this is this is probably the, the best read I've I've had in twenty years, right? I mean But this one, man. And this is yeah, dude, this is also this is also square bound. I mean, there is not a I'll take it out. I mean it's yeah, I even have notes on it. Some of these you send them in because they're square bound. It's an easy nine eight. But dude, this book is like perfect. I mean there's no way this is, I mean I never cracked this open so unless somebody I mean I bought this so and I got it signed at the Comic Con so I mean I have two copies if I take a beating on this that's fine And there could be other appearances that I don't 
there's so many appearances in this uh in this run so many you know so many keys because of deaths and appearances but uh that one dude yeah that's a good one the tiger yeah. in the background yeah yeah oh maybe i should sorry paul i'm not good at pint at a spine slide yet but yeah you'll get well, when can you sign up for your class, Paul? Yeah, you should teach a class. I mean, there's not a tick. I mean, there's not nothing well, on these books. We got to put them on the spine, man. Good. All right, guys. What we at? We're at 20 for these books. What? Spider Flint's in, but no. No, Mr. Collector, you're not in on this, Mr. Collector? Collector snoozing, man. Hey, he loves Walking Dead. He won't stop talking about it. We took a ride to College Station. You wouldn't stop talking about Walking Dead. All right. We're in overtime, guys. Overtime shot clock. Here we go. Ooh, we got a storm rolling through here, man. I don't know, uh, hope I don't lose my internet. Yeah. That's what happens when you don't pay for Excuses. it. Excuses. You lose the internet. <laughs> Jets is in at 21. Thank you, Jets. And guys, I'll be back next Thursday night. If you like Walking Dead, I'll I'll have more Walking Dead, man. Yeah, it's the opening day for the Astros. Yeah, you'll be back. Hey, for all these <laughs> Walking Dead fans, I'll try to sell mine. Jeez. <laughs> of course, I didn't have a signed Kirkman. Jeez. Yep, they're saying we're going to the title again. We're going, man, we just, just go every year. Oh, well. It's just a... Uh, nope, be careful, buddy. Don't drop I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an amateur at this. Love the Walking Dead. You ain't lying, man. Uh, he does, man. We went to College Station. He wouldn't stop talking about Walking Dead. I was like, damn, Collector. As long as you're not Paul, like Mr. Collector. The series is over, Collector. Paul, have you read this run? I've read the run, yeah. I mean, it's it might be the best thing I've read. And you know since... what? Uh, the guy, the guy that we had, the uh, I go to the shop, buy my books. He was like, hey, man, you need to grab this Walking Dead. It was like. Right dead for a while and then all of a sudden he died that he killed him off and then everybody just started reading the walking dead again yeah so I'll, I'll tell you guys i mean i'm a i i just sit on ebay three or four times a day looking at anything under if you can find an issue under 90 for less than five bucks five any issue under 90 man the print runs were so low you know what stoney the philly said that but you know what they just lost that's all it was oh. man we just swept them man God. Are we talking about the Phillies now? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Stoney. We're so champions over you. here, baby. Yeah, the Phillies did uh, rock McCullers in game three. Yeah, uh, McCullers then, was like, I'm going to die in H-Town. When he lost that game, I thought he was. Yeah, but then Javier showed him what's up. No hitter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Don't be busting up my buddy. Replay like that, man. <laughs> Free play, yeah. y'all, 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 y'all give it to replays, man. He's a great, knowledgeable comic book guy. But sport, no. Yeah, well, we'll see, Paul. <laughs> you did call me and say congratulations, asshole. <laughs> you know what I did? Yeah, I actually did. called. Oh. I called Edwin, Edwin when the when the Rams won too. You called me and said. Congratulations, asshole. I'll tell you what, if the, if the Canadians ever win the World Cup, I'll call uh, MT. MT <laughs> he says it's closer to Ohio than it is to go to where you're at. Well, I'll tell you what, MT's getting snow this weekend. I'm getting rain. He's getting hey, like three foot of snow on we Saturday. We got pounded with rain today. Yeah, like I said, there's another wave, man. I can hear the rain outside my. Oh, house Mr. Right Collector is going to put up an ultimate Fallout Four on his turn. Oh, damn. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know that. Good night, Baron Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these nice high grade Walking Dead there, Collector. I'll tell you what. I didn't know how hard this was, but man, like behind the scenes, like I'm getting messages from people and trying to keep up with all this it's a lot harder than i thought it was going to be yeah, just, uh, yeah. yeah it's, it's a little it's, bit of work 
It has a, yeah. it has its moments. And Ooh, you guys don't pop like. culture. So if y'all don't know, pop culture has been getting a lot of walking dead. Congratulations, pop culture, on that number one, nine point nine. God, I think I'm already sending him something. For yeah, free, he's got so. he's got a walking dead number one, nine point nine. Wow. Wow. I'll tell you what, I have a Walking Dead number two that I might auction off eventually. You heard that, Collector? But Ak what Okinawa Jarhead also has shipping with me now too, so Okinawa. 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 All right. Yeah, so. there you go. <laughs> it's difficult as we go along, yeah. You know? All I gotta say, guys, if y'all go to Philadelphia, do not park anywhere. God. Absolutely do not. <laughs> and don't take public transit either because oh, you're taking your life in your own hands. So oh, just walk. Actually, just stay out of Philly. That, that would be my opinion. Golly. Thank you all for coming tonight. Got Brie plays up here with the Walking Dead lot. 40 to Okinawa Jarrett. That's a cool name. I'm assuming he's a Marine. Changed my my name to a uh, only person on the panel swimming ah, around the three times. So, Stoney, you're coming to Philly for WrestleMania. I'm going to be at WrestleMania. I'm taking my daughter for sure, man. Stoney, man. Come on, man. I'll tell you what, Stoney. You hit me up, man. I'll We'll hang out. And Philly, he says, make sure you stay straight. <laughs> All right. In line coming down. In line coming down. Oh, man. I'm so happy I sold all four of my lots. That's awesome. That is cool. That's great. All right. Hi, Kirkman. And uh, put your wings in the private chat for me, buddy. All right, Jarhead. So we'll figure out shipping. I know you already paid me for shipping. I think I can. Uh, I think Damn, I can collect. make it work. Damn, collector, you got to follow that, collector. All right, go ahead, collector. Go ahead, hey, collector. Playing. Nope, it's collector. What? What? All righty. You still go have ahead, books collector. after? You still have books after that last auction? Go ahead, collector. I'm able to buy a couple of those what? Option on the quiet. Can't spell host without ho. But anyways, um, what? Well, you you heard that? Now. All right, so buy it now. All right, go ahead. Uh, do this for twenty five. I don't know if I said thirty five last time, but twenty five for the Michael Turner. The chat's calling for miles. Where's the miles? I thought Collector was going to bed. Let me see some miles. Oh, yeah, don't worry about miles. Miles is sleeping. Uh, Doom, Secor still sealed. Yeah, somebody asked about that earlier. Did you yeah. get with him? I didn't see. I didn't see nothing in the chat. No. Oh, uh, seventy-five. MT said he told you. MT said he told me. Yep. Oh yeah, MT said we'll circle back to that. And then... Yeah. Wow. Thanks, MT. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, the cards. Uh, I'll do fifty ship for this. For all these, look them up. They're down to fifty yeah. now. Yeah, nineteen eighty. <laughs> spider Flint. Oh. All right. You ten dollars for that one. There you go. Look at that shirt, man. There you go. Shirt of champions. Uh, I got a crazy buy now. Um. They make it look easy sometimes. This is ship. Fun. I'll go to thirteen hundred ship. Oh. It is restored, but look it up first. The Nestro. Nestro, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So. Shit. Cool. Look up the book. Look it up. All look right, it up. we're gonna start this off at a crazy low price, and Paul already knows there was already a low price, so. Barbarian Kung Fu is asking if that set was complete. Your sticker cards? Uh, yes, it's 32. <sighs> yeah. 
Yes, sir. All right, you know where to All find right, it, we're going to start this off at 75 75 dollars for a bid, good we're buddy. Try this again. What? Yes, sir. Dang, he's desperate to get rid of cat woman. I thought Collector was going to bid. Seventy-five dollars starting bid. Yes, sir. Liz said, "You, I thought you were going to bed." <laughs> Liz, you're gone. <laughs> I'm going oh, to bed. Not. I mean, uh... All right, everybody, y'all have a good night. No, nope. good morning. So, hey, good night, Spider Friend. Wait, yeah, sorry, we, got, we got to run your waffle, dude. I know. Hey, let's do that right now. Forget yeah. That. No one, no one. Even That's all right. I'm gonna run it. I got mine in here, so we're running at the same. All right, here are the money books, people. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of these. Those two. Yeah, replay. Yeah, I uh... thought Spider Friend was gone. Oh, jeez. I'm saying goodbye. No. Mr. Collector, what would you buy on eBay for selling them? <laughs> Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> I want to know what books he bought. Yeah, I, I did buy. I only bought one book, too. All right, Brie Prelly's uh, glad to be here on, on your audio. first night. Wow, Thank so. you, Spider Flynn. I appreciate that, man. All right, guys. Everybody have a good night. Chat. Appreciate oh, all you guys. Hey, you put your wins in the private chat, Spider Flynn? Yeah, I just had uh, Farron John. So. All right. Just, all right. You may go now, Spider Flynn. And I messaged you my uh, waffle. So. Yeah, message me on IG. Did you message me on IG? Yes, I did. It's on there. All right, all right. Spider, yeah, we'll meet back. tomorrow so I can pick up the book. Okay. <laughs> so I can pick up the slab. Ooh. Okay. That's how I'm gonna look at Spider when I see. Uh oh, he tomorrow. says, "Stay tuned to his channel to find out what Mr. Collector bought." Ding, ding, ding. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Have a good night. Good morning. That's Whatever. Impressive. Hey, y'all make sure to follow Impressive on YouTube, too. He does a lot of unboxing on some cool books. That's how I look every time I watch his videos when he unboxes. Like He says, make sure I win the, I win the gig. <laughs> oh, you're not going to throw a bid on here? Man, this is tempting, you man. Call, God, you, ain't, you kept calling me for this, these books, and you ain't even bidding. I think it was the other way around, but okay. Yeah, these are nice. Wow. I'm giving you two reasons to bid on it. I mean, I, I picked up the uh, the New York Comic Con one, so I don't know, man. I mean, wow. yeah, you saw the New York Comic Con I had. Huh? You saw this one, all right? I have that one. You see this one though? I have that one. Hey, you definitely don't. What? You definitely Great. don't. Clutch told know? me all about it. No, I ain't buy. I ain't buy that one from. Oh, yeah, actually, I did buy that from Club. Actually, I'm gonna go see my buddy. He's got some new boxes coming on Saturday. You gotta work on Saturday. Don't worry <laughs> about me. Ooh, <laughs> damn, Daniel. Yeah, see, Daniel knows. How do you sleep at night, Daniel? Easy, like this. That's a nice little well, time. Well, like I mean, that. his room is dark all the time, right? So. There you go. Goodbye, Daniel. I don't see anyone else bidding. He's coughing on the books. Wait, what? He's oh, coughing on, on the books. It's acting. I was acting. Wow. That's cool. You. Fine slide. Here you go. 40 seconds, guys. Paul, you better hurry up. Yeah, that's a good deal. Wow. Yeah, Paul. Oh, Mr. Collector's in on that. Wow, okay. You're in on the damn two sixty six. What cards are in that lot? They're the uh you can look them up. They're called the uh Terabusi. Terabusi. From nineteen eighty. Go ahead and look them up. Alright, that was the timer. 
Goodbye. In line, coming down. In line, coming down. Goodbye. Goodbye. Tony NY says, Ben, the Doctor Doom Marvel cards. Do oh, the Doctor Doom and the Marvel cards. There you go. Yeah, that's a good one. Wow. That's good. I mean, uh, be careful, Tony. And why I think it's like for ages 13 and up. So you, we got to make sure, you know, uh, send me how, you know, the age limit, I think. And then we got Tony and Y and Daniel for your uh, lot. All right, cool. And put the wins in the private chat for me. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, Brie plays, put it in there. And we're going to Blue Flunt. Blue Flunt, you ready? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, go ahead, buddy. My last turn. But uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, all right. Uh, still have a waffle. Seven spots left on this. Um, actually, uh, six probably after after we run the giveaway. Um, Nine point four white pages. Off flight number one. Ten bucks a spot. And then we have uh, pull box. You get four pulls for ten bucks. And then on top of that, you'll get a free waffle spot to win a Moon Knight number one. All right. Here are some buy it nows. This is from Scout Comics. This is codenamed Ric Flair. So this is the whatnot exclusive. A hundred bucks, you get the regular trade. You get the virgin. You get the glow in the dark. You get the black and white. And you get the card. So you get this entire pack here. Nice minty shape. For a hundred bucks, if you're a Ric Flair fan, this is the pack for you. Okay. Uh, show us a couple of slabs here. This is an ASM 363. Awesome cover with Venom and Carnage. I believe this is Carnage's third appearance. Uh... And I have this for 90 bucks. 90 bucks. 9.8 white pages. Wow. Oh, shit. It's ID and two heads here. Look at that. Awesome. Right. Also, I have a Joker number one from 2021. This is an homage to Batman. 251 isn't like um, yeah reverse though right it's got mm -hmm. batman holding the card instead of the joker right. and what's cool about it is that it's it's signature series signed by neil adams that's cool now it's for 250 there's the sig miss mayhem says give her a waffle spot please all right thank you miss mayhem thank you miss mayhem how many likes we got, guys? Y'all keep hitting the like button. Um, how many likes we have? I don't know. Uh, ASM 365, the hologram, 25 bucks. First Spidey, 2099. 25 bucks. Mr. T and the T-Force, number one. Still in the poly bag. It's got the gold foil trading card. Ten bucks. And it's also a Neil Adams. 75 likes, guys. Get us to 100 There's likes. The There's the card. Yeah, Neil Adams. Still in the bag. Neil Adams. Poly bagged, right? Yep. Okay. Neil Adams. All right. Also... Any store fans up there? Store number one. Blank. Mm. So you can get it sketched. But an artist related to Thor. Store number one. 
Thank you, Miss Man. Um, here we have a Thor 338. Second beta rate bill, 30 bucks. This cover's been homage to. This is an homage of a, of a, another cover. Yeah, what but, is it? Uh, Thor 126 or something? Yeah. Yeah. With him and Hercules. Him and Hercules. Yep, that's a nice book. Second beta ray build. Second beta ray. Here we have Marvel Point One. Oh yeah, Sam Alexander. Yep, for Sam Alexander, thirty bucks. Look at that. Love the Watcher. Sam Alexander is the new Nova. Mm -hmm. Here is Affordable Tales of Suspense, number eighty-five. Featuring the Mandarin. 25. Also for 25, we've got a Strange Tales, 153. Featuring Dr. Strange and Nick Fury, 25. Amazing Spider-Man 375, 25 bucks, awesome. Battle cover, Venom and Spidey, also gold foil. Giant size, 25 bucks. You might know something about this book, Paul. Oh yeah, Blaster, yeah, nice. 10 bucks. Transformers that was the villain he was facing, but he never showed up in the TV show. Yeah, first appearance of Crosscut, Death Trap. We've got a good early Thor as well. Thor 182 with Dr. Doom on the cover. Look at that. Only 25 bucks. Here is Strange Wink by John Bolton. Number one, Dark Horse Comics, 10 bucks. From right, we Spawn, got oh. 327, homage to Spidey One, it's 10 bucks. All right, now I'll do an auction. Let me see. What's the start on you, good buddy? All right. Uh, make it uh fifty bucks. Fifty. Fifty, yeah. Gotcha. All right. This is a Marvel lot of horror lot. So, yeah, these are really hard to find books too. Um, they're in decent shape. Um, Marvel Chillers featuring Tigrid number five. You get that. This is the money book here. Beware number one. Look at that. It's a nice cover. Tower of Shadows number one. Doranko and Romita. Crypt of Shadows, number one. And you get Dracula 6 6. It didn't go up to 666, but 6 6. So you get this horror lock. Ooh. All right, fifty dollars starting big guys. Here we go. Timer's going. Get all these books in there. Nice. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, the average I would say is like a uh, six five. 
The Crypt of Shadows is higher. That's like an A+. Plus. This one's was like a 7+. Plus. 7 five, New stand. But yeah, these are all horror books. That's from the Marvel Trailers line. Look this one up. This, this one's... And this is in better shape than the ones on eBay. Power of Shadows. It's an awesome cover. Romita did the outside. I think Starenko did the inside. Crypt of Shadows is a really good run, too. That's some really awesome covers. Still a lot of room on these. All right, two minutes left, guys. Two minutes. These are, yeah, Marvel number ones, too. Hmm. Also have a waffle going and a pull box. If anyone's curious or interested. This is all in, by the way. This isn't a winner's choice. It's all in. And you might not even get these at Ten bucks a book. All right, guys, y'all get in. Bins wins. Uh, auction wins. Get a, a spot on his waffle for our flight number one round giveaway. Will be a waffle spot. And get us to 100 likes. I may find something to give away. We'll see. So, y'all, keep hitting the like button. I think Miss Liz said we're at... 75. Yeah. But MT said that she's not the official like count. So, <laughs> we're at 75. <laughs> and Miss Mayhem said she paid you for the waffle spot. Yeah. Thank you. And she's in, so anybody gets in, y'all get in on the spot on the waffle right here. So all right. So I have a timer in line coming down, in line coming down. Seventy six guys. Y'all keep hitting the like button. Get us to a hundred. I got something to give away at 100. All right, I'll be lurking in chat. Um, but great uh, spending time with you tonight, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you uh, next week. Okay, good buddy. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Oh, all right. Going to finish it off with me. Last round. Okay. Yeah. So, we're going to. This is done, so I'm going to run it tonight after Spider Flint's one. This will be ran tonight. Thank you, Farron, and everybody that's entered in it. I said I have this one. Beavis and Butthead, number one. First Beavis and Butthead in Marvel Comics, I believe. Second printing, harder to find. This There's like 11 and 9, 8 and 600 and 625 in first print, but second prints are only at 11. There is a pink glove and a red glove, but this one's the pink one. Second printing 375. And that got the New York Comic Con nice high grade on this one. 
the 51 foil. How pretty that thing is. That thing is so pretty. Uh, limited to 500 copies. The Adam Hughes. If you see Adam Hughes at a show, get this one signed. Maybe I may pull this one back and let uh, 90 on this one for the New York Comic Con. I got another New York Comic Con for Harley number one. Dan Mora, 40 on this one with color, playing card. Ah, see. We only have two viewers left, Paul. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I got spawn number one, newsstand. Got this at a 5.5. Five. 60 if somebody wants. Oh, shit, he's right. They're all gone. The what? <laughs> yeah. Now there's three. Yeah, just us. Oh, shit. We went up. We <laughs> went down, he said. No, we didn't. <laughs> all new Wolverine 19 or Germ 20. Black Panther number two, second print. Run the jewels twenty. I hope nobody left because I still gotta run the waffles. Uh, X Men Deadly Gender Regenesis number five. The Tyler Kirkham Hope three forty homage twenty. Secret Wars number one. The first incursion. Ultimate and six, the six one six universe. This is the comic block. Deadpool variant twenty five. Got the uh, Avengers fifty three, signed by Sway. I think this is the new Miles costume thirty on that, signed by Sway. Got uh, the one in 25, X Men number one, Art Adams, 35 on that. New Avengers number 11, the first appearance of Ronan. This is not the Clint Barton, this is the Echo becomes Ronan. New stand, 50 on that one. Got first appearance of Hope Summers, X Men 205. Newsstand, 80 on that one. You dirty dog. Yep, look at that. Look at that. Look, look what you see. You see that? Look at that. I find a bunch of directs. Hardly ever newsstands. 80 on that one. Got first appearance of Cosmic Ghost Rider, 1 in 10. Mike McCone, one in ten variant signed by him. Uh, Eighty on this one. First Cosmic Ghost Rider. And the show started again. So I have Invincible nineteen. First appearance of Battle Beast, who did a number on Invincible. I think he almost died, but a uh, hundred on this. I'm going to do a $6 winner's choice. All right. $6 winner's choice. Here we go. I got Ren and Stippy number 17. Nickelodeon. I got Moon Knight number 13 when him and Moon Knight, Daredevil and Moon Knight first battle meet. So I have Thor 390, the first time Captain America wields Mjolnir. I got Hulk 282, the first time uh, She-Hulk and Hulk team up. 
I got New Mutants 100 first X Force. Got Infinity War. This is first doppelganger. Spider Man's doppelganger. Got Captain Marvel 58. Got uh, in Mighty Avengers number one, first Prince of Spectrum. And this one's cool. Marvel Fanfare number 24. The first time Monica Rambo and Captain Danvers meet. And uh, X Force number 19, first copycat. Full form. There we go. What's up? What's up, buddy? <coughs> T Pain's in. <coughs> so you got Thor. Got the She Hulk. I mean, the Hulk with She Hulk. Got first uh, X Force. We got first doppelganger of Spider Man. Captain Marvel. First Monica. I mean, uh, first. Monica Rambo a Spectrum. First time Monica Rambo and Carol Danvers meet in this issue. They meet up. This is. Do they go to uh, dinner? Do they go to dinner or coffee? I don't or know. They meet up on some kind of uh, space station, and then Carol Danvers throws her out of the space station, and then they battle to the death. X Force 19, first appearance of the true copycat. I think it was they I think they were uh Domino in ninety-eight, I believe. Oh. This is a cool Ren Stimpy. Who didn't like that show? First time uh, Cap wields Mjolnir. First time uh, Hulk and She-Hulk team up. First appearance of the X-Force. First doppelganger. First, I mean, uh, Drax the Destroyer on Captain Marvel, the original. Death cries with the destroyer. Mighty Avengers number one. I said this is where Carol Danvers and uh, Monica Rambeau meet. And I think this is Elf Quest. What is this? Wow, everybody sleeping? Good night. Got some nice books right here. Paul, oh, is that first Moon Knight and uh, Daredevil meetup? Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. The first true copycat. This is a cool Ren Stippy. Yeah, first time Daredevil and Moon Knight yeah. meet. First time Captain America wheels Mjolnir. New stand. First uh, team up between She-Hulk and Hulk. First new... X Force. First doppelganger. All right. 
All right, let me put the end line. Anybody can do backups, but T Pain is first. All right. Anybody can do backups, but T Pain is first. 77 likes. Get us to 100. I'll give away this book. 100 likes. Get this book. All right. Yes, sir. H G Captain Marvel H First time uh Oka Shiok is a D. All right, let's go. A B C D And Daniel wanted B. Okay. Appreciate it, buddies. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. Um, I'm going to get the race going. Daniel and T Pain. All right. No problem, buddy. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, T Pain. And uh, let me do this. All right, so we're going to do the round race. And this is a spot on the waffle for roof font. Yep. There we go. We're going to take this off. We don't need this anymore. We're going to do this. All right. What is it saying? Explore my. I don't know what that means. All right, we're going to put down the names. Let's see what we got. All right, none of these guys are in there. We're going to get these off. So I got Daniel. Oops. Oh, Paul, did you get Okinawa? Uh, no, I haven't put them in there yet. And T-Pain. All right. So we got those. Oh my God. All right, Farron's in. Jarhead. And Miss Mayhem. All right, that's all we got right here. So we're gonna do this race. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna set it. One, two, three, here we go. Quack, 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 quack. All right, top right. Oh, you're still here? That. I thought you were gone. I would have just told you how many shop. Oh, yeah. Started over. 60. <laughs> what? Wow. Farron's in the lead. Good night. Get him, Farron. 
Oh yeah, Farron, I'm shipping out your stuff tomorrow with everyone else's. Wow, Farron says, okay, and I'm gonna take that spot. Gah! All right. All right, I will make a note of it. Congrats, Farron. Congrats, congrats. Wow. Baron is the winner. Now we're going to do, we are going to clear this and do 101. I'm going to edit the name. All right, this is for Spider Flint's waffle. We are going to do this. Let's see who's in on this. I should have 12 of those spots. Okay, we got Stony. Got Stony. And then we're going to do mine right after. Stony. Stony. We got <laughs> Jack B. Jack B. Oops. Jack B four times. Oops. Got B correct. There you go. Jack B. Jack B four times. We got collector. Yeah. Collector in one time. One time. <laughs> I should have ten spots on there. You ain't got no ten spots. He says you only got four, and then you pay for one, so he's upset. But okay. He'll That's get over my it. My business. All right, and we got Robin Roberts. So we're going to do Robin, Robin, and Robin. And we have Roman Curtis. Roman Curtis. Roman. Roman. I should put it on your kind of All right. Um, since you're on there, Collector, how many shovels? Four. Woo. One, two, three, four. If I don't win, do it over. I want to pick five shovels after. What? No, that's it. All right, this is it, guys. Yeah. Here we go. Good luck. Thank you, Paul. Oops. Oh, shit. God. I hit the thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> And the iceberg has been hit. Here we go, guys, for Uncanny X-Men. Oh, two, Spider-Man. Six. That's a Spider-Man. Spider-Flint's creeping. Spider-Flint, he ain't in there. He's in the chat, though. Oh. Well, I didn't know he was. I thought he went to sleep. All right, pace Robin yourself, Roberts. We got pace Roman. Yourself. We got Godly. Pace yourself, little collectors. Collectors better make their move. No, collectors. Stony. Pace yourself, oh, man. collectors going the wrong damn way. That's what we need. That's what we need. <clears throat> oh, Dino shit. Collector. Everybody's about to make their runs. Dino Collector. Dino Collector. Robin Roberts in the lead. Roman Jack B. Who's going to win? The hell? What's going on? Hey! What the? Oh, wow! There we go. Oh, wait, what? I like to thank my haters, Paul. <laughs> uh, oh wow! There we the go. Call is... Spider Flynn right now. Actually, Spider Flynn is on the street. I'm gonna go over there right now. Actually, Godly, I just can't believe this. This is fucking insane. Hey, All right, just... God, tell me how y'all really feel. <laughs> They're telling God, you right now. <laughs> Golly, we can I can yeah. repeat some of this stuff in here. Yeah, they're getting out there, huh? I wow. guess so. All right, this is for my waffle for the Edge of Spider Verse number two. Let's oh, I better win this one too. You ain't in on this one. Oh, uh, never mind then. All right, I got. Oops. Let's go down, Robin. Who's Robin? Up? Mr. Nash. Mr. Nash. Yeah, Stoney, you can blame Paul for that one. T-Pain. 
<laughs> Stoney, you weren't even swimming, buddy. I don't know what the hell you were doing. He was gliding. Okay, Becky. I got Bob. Well, we ain't even here. We can still hear him snoring. Butterfly <laughs> Snipe. JX. Liz. Liz. Ah, dang, Tony. <laughs> Liz, Liz, Robin. Ooh. Robin's in on this. She will. Liz. Becky. <laughs> Tony NY. Appreciate it, Tony. Yeah, we're going. Oh. Duh. Uh, Junior. Paul, Tony NY, I just wanted to let you know that it, uh, it took you three months to sell the spots. Just so you Hey, know. man, they're, they're done, man. <laughs> yeah, it did take me a while. Actually, no, it did. Yeah, about, about a month and a half, probably. They go. Um, Cap. The good captain's in on this. And we got Farron, 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 Farron. Stoney, you already said goodnight to everyone. You can't say nothing else. So go hey, ahead Paul. and that last chat. Hey, Paul. Yo. What was the guy's name that I, I cannot remember his name? The guy that used to sell books on this on this uh, on YouTube that passed away back in like 2021. Oh, uh, uh, lawman. Lawman. What was his name? Uh, damn. Was... No, you just said it. I... Lawman. lawman. Yeah, lawman. Dude, remember when he used to fall asleep all the time? <laughs> he slept. Not not as bad as Roman Curtis. Used to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, lawman, dude. He would pass out on his couch all the time. All right, here we go. Uh, how many shuffles, Liz or Tony or anybody that's in on the waffle? How many shuffles? Y'all see the shuffle? Collector, anybody? Did uh, he say six, how many shuffles? Six. I think he said six. Who said six? I did. What? I'm talking about in the chat, man. You be oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just here so I won't get fired. Oh, all right. So Farron said three. Okay. Three months. Three. Three months. <laughs> all right. Tony. Uh, Farron yeah, said go. three, guys. Here we go. One, two, three. Good luck. You're supposed to be asleep, too. Damn, Cap, you just want to win. Jesus Christ. Right, when we'll do brunch tomorrow. <laughs> you ain't going to keep bugging Spider Flint until he gives you that damn book. I'm going right <laughs> after the show. Uh, God damn. Swim with the duckies. There's some Beckys, there's Bums, there's Leah's, there's Farron's, there's T Pain, there's J Egg, Nico. Dang, it's coming down over here. Damn. Yeah, it's pouring down over here too. That's why I'm trying to like Damn Farron! Yeah. Holy Lee. crap, where the hell Farron go? Watch Farron come out of nowhere. Robin Roberts, oh, J Egg. Where's Liz? Oh. oh, Liz, you let him go. Wow. Congrats, Robin. Robin Roberts is the winner. Wow, Liz, what were you doing? You were like swimming in. Yeah, Liz. Wow. I told you to go to sleep, Liz, a long time ago. Wow. All right. Uh, Robin Roberts is the winner. Wow. Oh, I was getting about that time. Spider Flint's still trying to sell stuff over here online. Hey, Spider Flint, cat. <laughs> All right. Robert Roberts, appreciate you, buddy. You are the winner. Wow.
And uh, what was I gonna say? And uh, congrats to Collector. This is the guy you got to be mad at, guys, right here. Look at that. He won the 266 book. Here he is. Just wanna, I want to say thank you for everyone for saying rig. She said I was cruising. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna say our goodbyes. Yeah, it's man. freaking coming down over here. Yeah, it's coming down. We're gonna say <laughs> our goodbyes, and we're gonna start it off with brief plays. Yeah, guys. Hey, man. Thanks. My, it was my first night. It was uh, a little more than I expected. Uh, a lot of messages and figuring things out. But hey, man. Thanks for buying books off me, and I'll get your stuff out immediately. And uh, I'll see you next Thursday. That's all I got, man. All right. Appreciate it, buddy. Nice. Thanks for being here. Brewfront. Thank you. <laughs> I think you already left. Looking good, Brewfront. All right, Brewfront. All right. Uh, we're going to go. Ooh, we're going to go to collector. There were the lights. I know. <laughs> yeah, appreciate, y'all. appreciate y'all coming by. With It's uh, about to come down over here. Yeah, but thank you all for stopping by. Make sure to smash the like button. Get, give all these guys a follow over here. And uh, make sure to tune in Sunday. No, no, no. Saturday. Is it Saturday, Paul? Next Saturday. Next Saturday. My bad. Uh, turn next Saturday, but it's Sunday also. To catch the guys. And, yeah, uh, yeah that's it. Appreciate right, everyone that made it, too. Yeah, thank you all. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Thank you all. All right. Thank you all. And uh, back you, to me. Appreciate everybody being here tonight. Like he said, thank y'all for showing us support. We appreciate it. And like I said, go give us a follow. Give us a sub. And like I said, uh, always appreciate y'all coming. Congratulations to Rob Roberts and uh, Collector. And uh, yeah, these, these things are pretty fun. So uh, yeah, y'all check us out on Sunday. And Mr. Collector will be on Saturday with us with the pop-up. We'll have Champ on there. Got a few other guys, but uh, appreciate y'all. Um, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Or uh, tune, yeah. in Sunday. tune in Sunday. What the hell is that? What are you crying about now? Yeah. There go the lights. Yeah. Oh, there they went. All right. What do you yeah. need? What do you want to say, Collector? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all look alike. Sorry about that. All right. Good night, guys. <laughs> Twinsies. <laughs> God.